Go on Aaron, mark us in. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and we welcome you to Fairburn, Georgia for the kickoff of the 2012 football season here on the Calvary Sports Network. And Calvary has made the trip across the state of Georgia to the greater Atlanta area to play the landmark Christian War Eagles to open the 2012 season. Hello, fans, and we welcome you back to the Calvary Sports Network. Brian Evans along with Chad Griffin and Casey Nelson and Bill Richard live here at the campus of Landmark Christian School. It's a beautiful facility and a great crowd has joined us here, both from Savannah and here at Landmark as they are seeing both teams excited to open the season. These two teams are no strangers to each other, meeting each other last year in the 2011 uh, st second round of the Class A state playoffs, a game which Landmark won 21 to seven. It was a lot closer than that. You can see Calvary's getting ready to come onto the field and as uh, they are getting ready to come on, we'll bring here my man here to the left of me as here come the Cavaliers onto the field. Chad Griffin and Chad, I know we have all been very excited to get this 2012 season underway, a season um, which we got a little bit of waterlogged the last couple weeks, but uh, I know the boys are ready to play, and we're ready to bring them some action. It is. It's an exciting time of year, Brian, as we spoke Monday in our Cavs corner. Uh, there's a lot going on in this opening night of high school football, a lot of areas around the state. This week is called Zero Week in the state of Georgia. Actually, week one you have to is next week, Labor Day weekend, so you have to send a letter and uh, ask play permission this week. But a lot of teams are doing that, and um, everybody's jacked up. I mean, Landmark's a great atmosphere here. Fans are excited. Their teams are excited. And they lost in the state final last year, uh, Savannah Christian, and so they have a little bit of bite in them there. And then, you know, for Cavs, hey, this is, this is a litmus test for our boys. Um, new team, new year. Uh, can we repeat the successes last year? But also, can they step up? You know, this is a big challenge on the road, a uh, big-time test to, to open the year. So we'll find out early uh, what we got. You know, one game doesn't make a season from that standpoint, but uh, it does give you some good opportunities. Play BC last week in a scrimmage. Uh, that scrimmage was moved to a Saturday. Play at Memorial Stadium and actually worked out very well. Um, so it's been a, a good atmosphere from that standpoint. Um, good scrimmage. Offense looked good. Defense needed some work. And um, we'll see what corrections the coaching staff made this week and um, how that affect. Uh, Landmark Christian is primarily, from looking at the film, an I team. Uh, very good quarterback. Very good backfield. Line up that comes straight at you, hit you in the mouth type football. And um, we'll see how our D-line stands up to that tonight. We had some trouble on the edges last week in defending the pass. Uh, they got good size up front, Landmark does. Good quarterback, he's got a little bit of a hitch in his throw, but uh, he throws it well when he does it. Kind of a long game motion, a la Tim Tebow, but he can he can run it and throw it uh, when it's that time. But you can hear the atmosphere getting ready for the kickoff here. Cavs will kick off, Landmark will be receiving, and Luke Stroud puts it into the end zone to open up the 2012 football season. Landmark will take over at the 20-yard line and Cav will be first on defense. Landmark is in their home Vegas gold type looking Georgia Tech jerseys, white pants. Uh, Calvary is in the gold LSU color, white tops, purple helmets as we get ready to start the 2012 season. Everything is so important um, with the new playoff system, single A class split, power rankings, so every game plays a major, major factor in this. So here we go, Brian. Yep, uh, under center is their quarterback. Nobody in the backfield. They're going to hand off in an end around. This is that number five you talked about, the speedster, Josh Nobles. Nobles gets close to 10 yards. I think he's got a first down up across the 30. A.J. Keene brings him down at the 31. A gain of 11 on first down. And Landmark Christian has already moved the chains here early on. We're probably going to see a lot of Josh Nobles. It looks like they're going to put him in a lot of different positions in the backfield to try to put him out into space. He uh, is not on the game right now as the quarterback is uh, Cole Higby. He was the quarterback last year. He is now a senior. Under, uh, behind him as they go in the play action was number 22. Now he's going to take off and run, and he's going to be brought down after a gain of about three. Oh, oh. Still on his feet. Good job. Extra carriers up across the 38-yard line, so a gain of seven on second down. 
Yeah, good job there. Lucky's goal. Um, he got a crease to run like he's going to get two or three, but kept his legs turning and ended up getting a seven-yard gain there. Second down and three. Ball is at the 38 and a half. So behind the quarterback Higby in the tailback position is Jeremiah Kirkland, the, the name that uh, we expected to hear along with Josh Nobles. Trips right, man in motion out of the backfield, 22. Yep, yep he goes shotgun. It's going to be a straight keeper. Good blocking. First down and more as Luke Stroud will make the tackle of Higby across the 45-yard line. But it's a gain of seven yards. He's got 14 yards already in two carries. And the second first down of this drive for Landmark Christian. They're out already near midfield. A little bit different than what we saw on film at, at Walker. They lined up in the eye and came straight at you multiple times. Um, didn't really see some of the uh, spread option stuff that you're seeing here early on. So it'll be first down and 10. Football is at the 45-yard line. Under center. Actually, back in the shotgun as Higby quick throws out. Here is Nobody out there. number 22, Kirkland. He's across midfield and down to the Calvary 46, a gain of eight. So Kirkland gains eight yards. First pass play. So second down and two as the ball is into Calvary territory for the first time today. And already we're seeing Landmark uh, running some players in and off here in Wayne Brantley's first official game behind the uh, with the clipboard. Yeah, he's the O coordinator last year, and so he doesn't like offensively. They're missing a beat. Shotgun, three receivers, handoff. This is big number 11. That is Darius Smith. Good blocking. He runs out of a tackle of Stefan Williamson around the 41, and he's inside the 40. Gain of six or seven yards there and another first down. Yeah, you see them really testing the edges now, sweeping to the wide side of the field, pulling their guards. Um, you know, on the, on the edge is doing a great job from Landmark. Moving in guys out, a lot of guys coming in, keeping them fresh, uh, keeping that speed going. So first down and 10, football at the 40-yard line. Again with the shotgun for Higby. Four receivers, put a man in motion. Here is Kirkland, good blocking again. Inside the 30, down to the 25. Gain of 15 yards, Stefan Williamson again has to come over and make the stop. It's not a good sign early on when your, your DBs and safeties are making the tackles. You're exactly right. But another first down. That's four first downs in the drive for Landmark, and they have not even seen a third down yet. No, not even been in that situation. Football's at the 25-yard line, first and 10. They're in Calvary territory for the first time. Clock at 9.36 to go in the first quarter. Quick pitch out. Pass is complete to Darius Smith. Smith brought down at the 20. Gain of five. Did not see the Cavalier that came over to make the stop. Uh, Luke Stroud on that. Luke playing outside there. Yep. They are, they're wearing out the edges right now. Yep, you got A.J. Keene at a corner along with Regan Jones on the other side. Two safety this year, Seth Son Williamson and uh, Luke White. Put a man in motion. Here's Higby with a big hole up the middle. First down and more. He's inside the 10. Reagan Jones comes over and brings him down at the three-yard line. That is a gain of 17. Gaping hole trap block down the middle. Five first downs in the drive for Landmark. They've gone 77 yards, and they have it first down and goal with just under nine minutes to go in the first quarter. Calvary is going to be very important for them to try to answer this drive, see if they can stop the juggernaut that has been Landmark. Yeah, they're just hitting you. I mean, they're coming right at you. I formation, two receivers to the left. He'll be under center. We'll hand off to Kirkland. Big hole up the middle, and see him. he is into the end zone for the touchdown. Landmark took it right down the field. And Kirkland, in his second carry, goes three yards for the touchdown. And it makes it quickly six to nothing for Landmark. Nine plays to go 80 yards. Number 14, uh, Stockton McGuire, sophomore, should be freshman, in to attempt the extra point. Out of the hold of number six, Ben Baggett. Kick is up, and the kick is good. With 8.34 remaining in the first quarter, Calvary finds himself in an early hole. It's Landmark Christian 
seven and Calvary nothing. What, the, what Calvary can do right now is come out on offense and, and go three and out. Uh, that, that can't happen. You know, Landmark's jacked up, their players are excited. Our guys are hanging their head a little bit, walking off the field. We just got hit in the mouth. You know, can, can we respond and, uh, and get to that point? You know, we're getting ready to learn a lot about our team here shortly. Um, but a heck of a drive. Heck of a drive for Landmark, you got to say. Um, Calvary really seemed to step on, step behind the whole time on defense. They're going to have to make some quick adjustments. Yeah, and you can, you can see, I mean, Landmark kind of gave you a little taste of everything. Some motion, a little bit of quick pass, eye formation. And so, I mean, it's going to be, you know, Coach Keith is taking over D coordinator. It's going to be big for him to, you know, get things sorted out and what we're going to call and, you know, what we're going to do. Last year's game was definitely a defensive struggle. Um, it was 21 to seven, and I Landmark. Watched. We saw them do so many onside kicks. Yeah. So we, we I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. Right. I mean, you got the momentum. You just, you know, made the first uppercut. They are going to go with the short kick. That is uh, Ryan Jennings who makes the fair catch call at the 31. Calvary will take that position. They'll be on. Offense for the first time from their own 31-yard line, and we'll see senior quarterback Jake Clements had such a great year last year. Was one of the players of the year in Region 3A, and now is back under um, the helm for his second year. He has behind him, in, or with him in the backfield, number two, Robert Hayward, only a sophomore, will be starting at the tail. Will be four receivers to start the set. We'll be looking in the slot here on the near side. That is, of course, Mylon Richard. Handoff will go to Robert Hayward on the first no place. Way. And there's nowhere for him to go as number 66, Reed McGuire, a senior, comes in and makes the stop three yards behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of, let's call it a loss of four, actually, back to the, at the 29-yard uh, line. They actually gave Ryan the ball at the 33. So loss of four on first down. So Calvary will now go again out of the shotgun. Put Jordan Walker in motion. Plenty of time for Jake. Throws, oh. was looking right down the line of scrimmage for Jordan Walker, but great coverage there. That was number six, Ben Baggett on the coverage all over the back of Jordan Walker. Walker could not make the catch, so quickly it's third down and very long. That's not, exactly what we talked about, yeah. not getting into. I mean, coming, you, we can't get, come in here and go three and out and give them the ball back. I mean, they are jacked up. They got the men. They're here to, they're here to play. Shotgun, uh, quick run here for Jay Clements. He gets forward progress beyond the original line of scrimmage up to the 34 and a half. Gain of six, but that's going to be well short of the first down. And Calvary is going to have to give the ball back very quickly. So Calvary goes a net of plus positive one yard on their first drive. And Chandler Bennett, as another senior, is in to punt. Going deep is Cole Higby and uh, number five, Josh Nobles, standing back at their own 35. Poor punt off the side of Chandler Bennett's foot from the 36. Here is Nobles. Good coverage great by field Calvary, position. but it will be a great field position, as Chad said, as the ball is up to the 47-yard line. First and 10 there. That punt will go 35 yards. And a return of 13. So first and 10 landmark football at their own 47 and a half. Higby will be out of the shotgun. Five receivers in the set. Quick throw, this is Kirkland. Luke Stroud misses the tackle. Now he's got some running room. A.J. King brings him down nine yards down the field. But actually, I think they're going to give him yeah, right at nine yards. I mean, they have tons of space out there to, to throw. Um, Bring up second down and one. Go out to be aware of that several times. They, you know, quick pitch out, a lot of space. Receivers doing a great job downfield blocking, creating that space as well. Clock at six minutes, 39 seconds to go first quarter. It's already 7 nothing landmark. The War Eagles with the football again, looking to go up by two scores. Here's the handoff. This is number 11, Darius Smith outside. And a good tackle. Reagan Jones came up the senior. 
It's going to be the first negative play of the night for Landmark as Smith is brought down back at the 30 of the Calvary 45, a loss of two. So to bring up third down and about two and a half yards to go. Yeah, this is probably, I, if I was them, I'd stay in four down territory. You're probably you know, right. Yeah, we're not really proving that we can make a stop yet, so I'd, I'd say they're definitely in four down territory. Third down and a short three. Higby from the shotgun. He stands back at his own 50. Put a man in motion, fake the handoff, keeps it himself. Oh, great penetration there from Chandler Bennett. Was in the backfield. Brings him down for a loss of one. So to bring up fourth down and three. Yeah, 22 is coming to the game for, for Landmark. I look yep. at a high formation here. He only needed four yards, three and a half yards in the, into the end zone. He got that easily. So yeah. maybe the exact same play. So here will be our first fourth down conversion attempt of the night. See if the Calvary defense can stand up. You got those big boys on the line of scrimmage. Expecting a lot from them this year. He'll be under center. Just going to go straight to handoff. Kirkland jumps outside. And we had a chance to bring him down and couldn't. Everybody was on the line. He's taking it down the sidelines. And A.J. Keene will run him down at the 11-yard line. 34 yards on the play for number 22, Jeremiah Kirkland. And it's a first down and 10 for Landmark. So Calvary had everybody up, and once he broke free of the tackle at the line of scrimmage, he had a lot of green grass, and he took it down the sideline. So right at five minutes to go here in the first quarter, Landmark's got it at their own 11. Or excuse me, the Calvary 11. They're going to stay in the I formation. They can get a first down and not score the touchdown here. Hand off Kirkland. Bounces outside. Matt Sauce cannot make the tackle, but he will slow Kirkland up enough for Calvary's defense to swarm under. Chandler Bennett is there from his right tackle position along with uh, Hunter Sherwood, number 67. No gain on the play. Second down and 10. See if they line up in the, in the gun here. No, under sender. They're going to go out of the offset eye here. Yep. Three receivers, two to the right. Showing blitz. Going to roll a man out, looking for the tight end. The catch is made. You can't get there. Reagan Jones cannot make the tackle. Can't get there. And that's going to be a touchdown. Josh Nobles makes the catch out of his tight end position. And he scores the touchdown from 11 yards out. And just like that, Landmark's up 13 to nothing. With 4.18 to go in the first quarter. Calvary has run three offensive plays compared to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Quick count. Yeah, 16. <laughs> yeah, I, I stopped. Sorry. 16 plays for Landmark offensively and two scores. Calvary's run three offensive plays and have punted. It's not the defense or the stat sheet you want to see. No, and right now, you know, we, we start to get better pressure in that second defensive series, but just not strong tackling on the edges again. Um, get them in a space, just not very good tackling. You know, not the way you want to start out your, your season. I will say, though, Calvary did seem to improve a little bit make a few adjustments on that second defensive series, but if it keeps up, it's going to be very hard to keep fresh legs out there on defense. Yeah, it, it is, you know, especially if, you, if we're having trouble tackling the edges. Um, you know, it becomes very, very difficult to keep up that, that rate, especially if we can't get anything going offensively. We're going three and outs. So Calvary will come back out to receive the second kick of the night. We'll find out what character we have right now. The youngster McGuire will kick off once again for his second time tonight. I don't side it. They certainly have all the momentum. I don't see why it would hurt them. <laughs> it wouldn't. It wouldn't. He's lining up to kick it short. For that is for sure. Yeah. Here is the kick. Is another short one. Jennings again calls the fair catch and makes it at the 37-yard line. First and 10 there for Calvary. So 
Ryan Jennings has gotten a little bit of playing here. First and 10 for the Cavaliers. Football actually going to mark it all the way up at the 38-yard line. That's where the Calvary team will start first and 10. Jay Clements with Robert Hayward. You've got number 16, Kalee Hughes, out there. He is playing tailback, or excuse me, uh, on the outside. Clements off his back of his foot. Looking for Ryan Jennings as he had a lot of pressure in his face on first down. Jennings could not make the adjustment to come back for the football. Now, Landmark's pretty much just going to come after us right now, make us prove what we got, especially offensively. Uh, my high pressure, a lot of men. You, you see they're pressing, man pressing receivers, um, doing a good job. Early in the game, Jay Clements 0 for 2. And he's been running for his life. Yeah, not much time. Low snap. Picks it up, though. He does not panic. Throws off his back foot again. Wow, just kind of tosses up there. And it will be incomplete. Two landmark players come together. Number six, Ben Baggett, and number 10, Aaron Burtz. They collided with each other and uh, knocked the ball away. What might have been a interception. Let's see who's under, under center here. Who's our center tonight? Can you see the number? It is number 60-something. I could not see. Mike, uh, Jacob Mock, perhaps? Flag comes down. It's actually uh, number 67, Hunter Sherwood. Calvary, penalty against them. It is Hunter Sherwood under center right now. I know that's been a rotating position from, from Justin James to... Um, you know, Tripp has sent some time. No, that's not Hunter. That's actually not. It's number 50, uh, Alex Herndon. Yeah, freshman. Uh, here we go again. Another jump. Justin that was James. Justin James. So two straight jumps have moved Calvary back 10 yards. When you can't get positive momentum, that's <laughs> to make it from third down and 10 to third down and 20 is not going to help you out a little any. Can we punt now? We could. Could. Nothing stopping us. Third down and 20. Jake under pressure. Takes off. Breaks a couple tackles. He gets 15 yards out to the 45. It'll bring a fourth down and about four yards to go. What do you do here? I mean, do you try to punt, put them deep, or do you try to keep – I mean – Pick up the first down because it's going to be fourth down and three. So he picked up 17 yards. <laughs> Calvary is right now lining up to go for it. You almost have to. Yeah. Make something happen. They're bringing least, everybody. Uh, they may use a timeout. Coach Stroud looking over his Jake, looking at Coach Stroud. He's running up to the ref and yep. will call a timeout. So the clock will stop with 3.19 to go in the first quarter. Calvary uses their first timeout. I'd like to take this time to acknowledge some of our, our sponsors that helps us with this broadcast and Calvary Athletics, uh, Green Turf Products, Andy DeCola, uh, Lane and Lee Trucking, Curry Cleaners, Granger Honda. Thank you for the, the ridge, the beautiful white ridge line. Thank you very much. Um, First Chatham Bank, Checkers, Danny Linderman, you got to eat. We want to uh, say a hello out to his wife who's recovering from some uh, chemo treatments this past week that you're in our thoughts and prayers, Miss Linderman, and uh, we're thinking about you here at Calvary. Uh, Nike, Specialty Sports State Farm Insurance, Mr. Bill Richard, Weatherington Chiropractic, Memorial Sports One, Savannah Tire, and John Davis Flores. And uh, we've got a couple others we'll acknowledge as we get ready for a fourth down, and it will be the punt team on, and Chandler Bennett back on the punt. It'll be Higby and uh, Josh Nobles back deep. A little bit better punt this time. Fair catch called for. It's a good roll. Uh, yeah, it got a good roll. It's inside the 20. It'll be marked down at the 17-yard line. First and 10 there for Landmark. 43-yard punt. And first and 10 there for Landmark Christian. Had their longest field of the night. Three minutes, six seconds to 
go here in the first quarter. A little bit of the wind out of the sails coming out, you know, with so much hopes in the, the beginning of the game to look so flat-footed, both offensively and defensively. Maybe just uh, too much food at Golden Crowd Day. <laughs> First and ten, single setback, new quarterback in the game. This pass complete to number 81. That was number 14, Stockton McGuire, freshman. Good gun. Completed it out to number 81, Will Walters, a senior. Catch is made, and it'll be a first down, or close to a first down, up at the 27. Going to give him ten yards and a first down. Uh, again, a little square. Christian is up 7-0 over HV Jenkins High School. First and 10 landmark football is at the 29. I formation, handoff Kirkland. Bounces it inside and runs into Luke Stroud. Forward progress across the 30. Gain of one. Bring up second down, nine yards to go. Got to make a stand here. I mean, this is... So that was good, though, for Calvary's yeah. defensive line to hold them up enough. We'll see if they get anything on the edge. This is where they've, you know, kind of hurts a bit. Yep. Got a lot of space out here. Once again, a quick pass. We're eight yards off the ball. Again, that long, delayed handoff. And again, Kirkland's got a lot of space. Good job pulling the guard. Opening up a big hole on the offensive line. Kirkland's got eight yards there across the 40. He's got a first down. We should give him 10 yards on the play. That's yeah. already first down number eight for Landmark. Calvary with zero in the first quarter. We're under two minutes to go in this period. Yeah, maybe we can get out of this first quarter and start, start all over. Landmark. After throwing the ball around a little bit, just kind of going back into a position to th run it down Calvary's throats. Uh, Jenkins just picked up a score, 7-7. Seven, seven. We'll try to keep you abreast of other action around the Coastal Empire as it filters in. Two receivers to the right. Who's got the slot guy? There we go. Calvary shifts over at the last minute. Quick out throw, 81 again, Walters makes the catch. Up near midfield, Luke White, the safety, comes over and makes a stop along with A.J. Keene, gain of nine. Second down and two, we're under a minute 24 to go. Yeah, just a lot of space on, on the edges. Um, I don't know if we're just respecting their speed, their space, but... Uh, their, their receivers have a lot of lost space where their defensively is, they're, they're man pressing us. Second down one, quick out throw, and he overshoots his intended target number eight, Sterling Dixon. So third down and one upcoming. Just kind of do a quick out there, see if they could pick something up. It's got to be a... Uh, Pretty nice feeling, though, when you can put a freshman quarterback in and he looks just as comfortable as your yeah, it, senior it starter. Yeah, it is a good feeling. Eye formation. Third down, less than a yard. Hand off. New running back in there, the fullback. He picks up the first down, though. He got two and a half yards. Yep. Number seven for them. Number seven is Will Martin. Two yards and a first down. Andre Wilson, first time we called his name tonight, he made the tackle. Yeah, see uh, Mylon Richard in yep. at, at DM for the first time. He's come in, they've uh, for right now for Micah Colbreth. First and 10, I formation. Under a minute to go, 45 seconds to go in the first quarter. Quick pass behind the line of scrimmage, this is Nobles and he jumps out of bounds. They're gonna mark him out of bounds at the 43. Gain of five on the play. Called second down and five and a half. 38 seconds to go in the quarter. Got some Atlanta area officials here. Hopefully Calvary will see a little bit more of these officials as the season goes along, playing in the playoffs. Well, yeah, if we, we get there, then it will be Columbus, Atlanta, Macon, 
Uh, there'll be some travel involved with the uh, Athens, perhaps. Yeah, Athens. Augusta. Augusta with Aquinas. Yep. Throwing the backfield. Behind that's the, a that is a fumble. Scrimmage. And that's going to go Did out of bounds. Recognize it. That's going to put the ball all the way back at the 48-yard uh, line of um, Landmark. That's going to be a big loss in the play. It'll bring up second down and uh, third down rather and 16. We'll call that a fumble against the quarterback. So a lo yeah. loss of. Eight. Nine yards, Nine. I think. Yep. So third down and long. Third down, 16 for Landmark. Calvary has the opportunity here, Chad, to make some positive momentum. Uh, but, but I cannot speak there. Positive momentum defensively here late in the quarter. Roll it out to the wide side. And, and Derek Kirkland yep. will get him in the backfield. Yeah, first uh, sack of the year. Kirkland comes up with it back at the... 44-yard line, a loss of five. So the Cavs make it make their first stop of the, the yep. evening. Um, hopefully a little bit of excitement, a little bit of momentum here. That was key, going down 21-0 into the second quarter. That had been very tough, but down 14-0 as time will run out here in the first quarter. Uh, Landmark will punt. They have pretty much dominated the first quarter there, Brian. And uh, but Cavs will get the ball, made a defensive stop. Hopefully we can get the offense cranking and get some momentum back here and maybe breathe some some life back into the Cavs. We've played one quarter of football. It's been all landmark. The Calvary is getting ready to get the football back, maybe start something offensively. Through 12 minutes, your score. Calvary down 14 to nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us here on the Calvary Sports Network. Live. From Fairburn, Georgia, tonight, I'm Brian Evans. Sitting to my left is color man Chad Griffin. To my right, producer and director Casey Nelson on the Calvary Sports Network. And above us, high atop La uh, Landmarks Field, is Bill Richard, Calvary's intrepid cameraman, making the trip on the fan also bus. Also faithful. And the new president of the Athletic Association for the next two years, so I feel very good about that. Uh, we want to thank Tony Sharp. Um, our outgoing CA president, he was a man who did a ton of things for us, and uh, we are so grateful for them and the outgoing board of Trey King and, and others. And so we're appreciative of that. The Athletic Association has a, a new board. Mr. Richard is our president. John Pearson and um, his wife, Mary Lynn, is going to uh, be the vice president in charge of uh, community volunteers, so to say, for, for the Cavs. We got several vice presidents we put in there per grade. So a lot of help coming for the Athletic Association and um, hopefully big things on the horizon. But thank to our outgoing board for all they've done uh, these past years. As we line up here to start the second quarter, Landmark is in punt formation from their 42-yard line. A.J. King deep for the Cavs. Here's the punt. Excellent punt. A.J. Keene will take it at the 20. Breaks one tackle. Now he's in a lot of trouble, but cuts back. Good return for A.J. out across the 25. Got about seven yards. It'll be first and 10 for Calvary from their own 25. But more, most importantly, they've got the opportunity to try to set something up offensively. So we will start from our own 20, 25. Handoff up the middle. This is Robert Hayward. Hayward will get up to the 30, gain of four before he's pushed back on the interior line. That was number 15 on the stop for Landmark, Preston Davis. Gain of four, bring up a second down and six. Strong run there by, by Hayward. I mean, just basically that was all legs getting there. He gets wrapped up in the backfield and will, they might, gave, might give him a yard, if, if that. Um, the D-line, big guys up front from Landmark doing a good job yes. cutting the creases and getting into the backfield. Gave him two yards on the play, so that'll bring up a third down and five.
Once again, Calvary in a third and long situation. Jay Clements going to throw, completes it. Milan Richard, big catch, and there's our first first down of the night for Calvary up at the 40-yard line, gain of 11 yards. That's, that's big. That's, we, we needed that dramatically, give us some breathing yep. room. Good, good throw and catch there. Good sit down right route by Milan. And, uh, hopefully Cavs can start playing a little bit faster, which is what they want to do. No huddle, spread, everything signaling in. Try and play really fast, get defense on their heels, and hopefully not change out as much. First down, Jay Clemens hands the ball off to Hayward, and Hayward gets across the line of scrimmage to the 42. Everything's got to get quicker. That's what yep. Coach Stroud wants. We did the bands last year, and that was quick. But right now, I mean, we want everything doubly quick. So making calls immediately at the line of scrimmage. Bring up second down and eight. Jake off his back foot, throwing deep, looking for Jordan Walker. Who has Walker, but he overthrows him. Bring up third down and eight. Good, uh, good throw there from Jake, but led Walker just a little bit. Yeah, Jake throws a, a good deep ball. Um, but he's thrown off his back foot a little bit here. Uh, could just be because the the pressure he's been getting just don't feel comfortable sitting in the pocket right now. But long third and eight. See what the Cavs have on, on this play. Third down and eight, shotgun. Two minutes into the second quarter. Clements fakes the throw and is going to keep it himself. Bounces out of a couple tackles. And he's going to do a great job just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Will Martin will bring him down there, bring up fourth down and seven. And yeah, Cavs got to give the ball back to Landmark without getting any points. At least we move the field of play a little bit. Um, hopefully we can get a good punt here and put Landmark back deep in their end like we did last time. So Chandler Bennett will come out to punt for the third time tonight. Landmark has two back this time, 17. And Higby and Nobles. Snap is good. No pressure on Bennett Ooh. as he gets the kick away. Line drive kick will be taken by Higby from the 20. Back. Higby running the bounds up at the 30, over the 35. They'll mark him down at the 36. Not a big net gain there. Gain, a punt of 35 and a return of 15. So first down and 10 for Landmark. Football is at their own 36. Calvary has nine or has given up nine first downs and they've only gained one. 9.06 to go, second quarter. Senior quarterback Cole Higby back in the game. He's at shotgun, so they'll not go out of the power set with him in there. Man comes in motion. Handoff will go to number 11. Cuts here to the far side. Good job by Calvary to string it out. And Justin James comes over and brings him down right at the line of scrimmage. Actually going to give him a loss of one. Finally, a little bit of a little bit intensity shown up front for these guys. Yep. That was just that uh, running back, the slot receiver end around. Loss of one, second down 11, football back to the 35-yard line. Got Chandler and Micah back in at, at DNs. Got to put... Two receivers here to the near side and going to put them out way wide in the slot. Try to spread Calvary out. See if those linebackers will be put into space. Higby going to keep it himself. Good blocking up the middle. He gets about five yards up to the 40 before he's brought down. That was Luke uh, White came up from his safety position to make the stop. Give him six yards on the play, so it'll bring up third down and five. Man in motion. Fake the handoff. Higby keeps it himself. Good stiff arm. Breaks one tackle and Jeez. will get up near the line of scrimmage. Broke the tackle of Derek Kirkland, which would have been short of the line of scrimmage, but he got six yards on his second effort, and that will be a first down. 
that's been the story of the evening when we have got landmark and longer situations. They've been getting, able to get on the ends, and we've had some missed tackles. Uh, from, I mean, we've been in places to make the tackle and uh, give short gains or no yardage gains, but it just hadn't happened for the Cavs yet. Here is the handoff, Kirkland, big hole, a couple of big missed tackles again. He's got nine, ten yards before Reagan Jones brings him down. Give him a ten yards and a first down. Football is at the Calvary 42, 7-19 to go. Under center, we got the freshman quarterback, uh, McGuire, back in. Kirkland again breaks free. Breaks He's got some running room. Good block out in front of him by Butler. And Kirkland is brought down inside the 25 at the 24-yard line. That is a gain of 18 yards. And right now, all the momentum back with Landmark Christian. Almost all of their damage has been... On the ground. Yeah, we saw him throw a little bit on, on film uh, just to keep, look like keep walking on us, but really they just lined up and came at you, and that's kind of what they're doing here to the Cavs. So they got the freshman quarterback in there. Play He's action. Gonna, yeah, going to roll out. He's got a lot of running room. Going to tuck it and run. He's inside the 20. Dives forward to the 15. That is a gain of nine. There is a flag that is back at the 20. See what that call is. It's a hold against Landmark. Here out here on the outside. We'll wait and see if they mark it off. Calvary will surely accept the penalty. I'll mark it back to, to the 30, so they're actually being a first down and 14 after the penalty. So third down, or should be first down, 14. Quick throw, complete catches out of bounds, and Reagan Jones throws him out at the 24. It's a four-yard gain. Number six made the catch. So second down and 13 yards to go after the gain of about three or four. Line of scrimmage will be the 28-yard line. Fans, we look forward to bringing you many different Calvary Athletics Net uh, Sports Network games this year. We've had our first live event last night uh, from Tippett Gymnasium, first ever volleyball match. And we look to bring you uh, more fall sports as well. I, offset eye, going to run an end around. Here is number five. This is Josh Nobles. And a great job by A.J. Keene to come up and make the stop right at the line of scrimmage. Only a gain of maybe two on the play to the 27. And it will bring up second down and 12, a uh, third down, excuse me, and 12 yards to go. We're, under, we're halfway through the second quarter. 14-0 Landmark leads, but they are threatening here. They have 12 first downs to Calvary's one. Calvary's total yards right now is not that impressive. They maybe have 30 total yards. Third down and 12 upcoming for Landmark. Play is taking a while to get in. I think they're going to take it down, yes, and Coach Brantley is going to call a timeout. That's Landmark's first timeout of the first half. This uh, campus is situated in downtown Fairburn. Very pretty and quaint little spot here in southern Fulton County. Oh, 
See the Calvary fans across the way that made the trip. Step away there just for a second. We're back, folks, uh, through the timeout. Landmark having a little bit of personnel issue here. And a flag comes in. I believe it's a substitution penalty against uh, Landmark. And if it is, it'll bring up third down even further. Yep, Landmark's third penalty of the drive. So third down and 17 now. A long way to go for Landmark, but they have two plays to try to get into field goal range. Uh, the youngster, McGuire, quarterback here right now, Stockton McGuire. He's back to pass, going to throw into the corner of the end zone, one-on-one -on -one coverage out there, and the man made the catch, but he was out of bounds. Number five, Nobles, made the catch over Reagan Jones, but he did not have any feet in. So the line of scrimmage will be... At the 32 and a half, it'll bring up fourth down and long. Landmark's got a couple of options. They can try a very long field goal. If they miss it, the football will go to the 20. Or they could uh, just go for it and give the uh, run it up the middle and see if Calvary can stop them. Or, yes, another or. They can try to. Um, it looks like they're definitely going to go for it. Yeah. I wouldn't blame them. Probably just run like run a draw play or something, see yeah. if they can get 10 or 15 yards. Out of the eye formation. Stockton McGuire under center. He's going back. He's got time. Oh, going over the middle. Man wide open. And great job by Stefan Williamson to knock it away at the last minute. Number 81, Will Walters was the intended receiver. But he can make the catch, and the fourth down conversion fails. Calvary gets the football back at their own 32-yard line with uh, 5.19 to go. So Calvary's defense buckles there, and that um, holding penalty ends up being very big. You're exactly right. They, you know, Landmark's had two opportunities to kind of uh, keep us down, but penalties and, um, you know, Calvary's, you know, standing tall a little bit. So now's the opportunity. If we can get some points back on the board, get some momentum going into halftime. Flag on the play. Yeah, I think it's going to be against Calvary. Yep. Might have had some movement. Hayward was up the middle. One thing that I did talk to Coach Stroud about earlier in the week, Casey Nelson and I got to talk with Coach Stroud in the preparation for this week. And uh, Coach Stroud said he wanted to establish the run, and they thought that was very important. Calvary has not been successful doing that, especially with the running back. Very young at running back uh, position, though, this year. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, we had kind of a mix of backs last year between Luke and um, Schuyler, different things. But right now it's been, you know, kind of some unknowns. The legal formation penalty is actually declined. So give Robert Hayward no gain on the play. It'll bring up second down and ten. So penalty is declined. Shotgun for Clements, back, looking, throws off his back foot, looking down the field for Khalid Hughes, and he was covered up there. Good job uh, by the safety to come over the top and really did not have an opening. So third down and 10 after the incomplete pass. Clements is one out of six here in the game to start. Yeah, I mean, most of his throw, those have been, been deep, third down passes. Um, or where he's his first two, where he's under immense pressure. We have to see another one here. Yeah, got Kirkland in the backfield with him. They're bringing the house. 
Kirkland uh, reverses his field. He's going to be wrapped up. Showed a little bit of quickness there, but he went the wrong direction. They're going to give him a loss of two back to the uh, 31. They'll bring up fourth down and 11. Yeah, once again, Calvary not able to advance the ball and um, going to need a big punt here from senior Chandler Bennett to yep. keep uh, Landmark backed up a little bit. Uh, Landmark's going to have probably pretty good field position here and a good bit left on the clock. We're at 425 left to go in the half. Yeah, both teams have two timeouts remaining. That's the one thing about, you know, the fast pace spread. If you're, if you're not getting first downs, you're not burning the clock either. Good punt there by Chandler. Yep, it's going to be a fair, fair catch. catch. Made by Higby at the 44-yard line. It'll be first and 10 there for Landmark. This is a big series here for the Cavs. We need to keep it at 14-0 going into half. 27-yard punt there, and but most importantly, no return. Bennett's had punts of 31, 43, and 27 here early. Got to keep it at 14-0. Uh, yeah. 14, 14 and uh, and getting the ball coming out of half. So this is this is a big defensive stand here for the Cavs. Yeah, get down three scores, it's going to be tough. Yep. Fake the handoff, it's going to be a straight run. Higby gets a block. A little block in the back there on the corner. Derek Kirkland, great job to come up. And a flag from the umpire all the way across the field. I wonder what that is. I Did think it's going to be, I think it might be a uh, penalty uh, against Calvary. I'm hoping not. Well, Sauce is clapping his hands, so maybe that's No, but you, they, they think they saw that block, block in, in the, the back. back. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Well, there's three guys much closer that didn't make that call. Um, but glad it was was called. So I'll set them back. Clock at 4.03. So I would definitely take walking them back. Yep. Penalty is going to move the football back from the line of scrimmage to the 37-yard line. So it'll bring up second down. Excuse me, it's going to be back to first down after the penalty and uh, 18. This draw play. Yep, this is Jeremiah Kirkland up to the 42-yard line, a gain of four. Micah Colbert on the tackle for Calvary as the clock goes under. Four minutes to go here in the first quarter. Assuming the first half of play. A little bit of early season jitters here from everybody. Calvary oh, yeah. defense, Calvary Sports Network crew. <laughs> Did not get to have our typical preseason workout last week uh, because of the weather. Um, Calvary did get to play B BC at um, Memorial Stadium, though. Tall sweep. Yep, to Kirkland. Getting outside, trying to use his speed. A.J. Keene is able to knock him out of bounds at the 49-yard line. A.J.'s had a quiet but effective game. I mean, he's had to come up and make some big tackles, some big plays on those edges. So good credit to sophomore A.J. there. He's getting himself in the right position to save some first downs and save some long plays. Gain of five. It'll bring up third down and about seven. Clock down to three minutes to go. Big, big play here for the Cavs. Need to buck our necks a little bit and see if we make a play here. See what pressure we got dialed up. Put some pressure on the middle of the field. A great job. That yes. was a good run blitz there from Matt Sauce. Kind of thought they would maybe play action pass there, get on the edge a little bit, but they went for the safe draw play. And yep. Will Martin lost three yards. Yeah, Sauce split the center there and got right in the backfield, made a good, good heady tackle. So that's a big step for the Cavs. We're looking at 240 to go in the half. And uh, – Landmark's going to have to punt. So that's a big, big stand. Yep. Maybe Calvary can make something happen. Yes, sir. 225, clock running. Uh, Landmark's going to try, try to take as much time as possible. Nolan Bryant to punt for, Cal uh, for Landmark, rather. You got Stefan and... Really back there blocking for, for A.J. End of rim punt. A.J. King. Oh, no! He touched it. Ball is on loose. It's picked oh. up by Landmark. Disastrous for the Cavs. A.J. King dropped the football as he tried to pick it up on the bounce. 
And it was recovered by Landmark inside the 10-yard line. It'll be first and goal for Landmark Christian with two minutes to go. And that right there is killer. Yep. Stop. Calvary had the chance at the very least to go down 14-0 and have the ball to start the second half. Now they could find themselves three scores down. Man, that's just that's a that's just heartbreaker. You know, give up two quick scores. You know, buckle down and inhaled landmark on several drives, did not give up points. And um, you know, probably the safe thing would have been to, to fair catch it, but he had some momentum coming forward. He had a little bit of space and uh, just miss, misjudged the intervening kick. And uh, Calvary's going to need a, a big, big stop here. We're going to need, you know, maybe a fumble of our own. Quarterback uh, Stockton McGuire throws out of the backfield, completes the pass. Ball comes loose. It's on the ground. Touchdown. The ball was actually loose in the end zone. If Calvary would have recovered it, I think it would have been a touchback, but McGuire jumped on it in the end zone. That's going to be a four-yard touchdown pass to Nobles. And just like that, it's 20 to nothing. Landmark. Man, that is just a tough, yep. tough situation Not right there. Not even 10 seconds went off the clock either. Nope. No. 1.45 to go. Stockton McGuire just threw the touchdown pass. He will attempt the extra point. Pushed it a little bit, but he got it through there. So the minute 45 to go in the first half, Calvary now finds themselves down 21 to nothing. That is a heartbreak of a situation there, Brian. You know, Calvary bowed up, made some stops. Good run blitz on the on the third down to force a punt. You know, unfortunate mistake back there by AJ, who had a good defensive game um, up until that point. So just a just a costly mistake there, but you know we're gonna learn a lot about our character in the next two quarters. Gonna have to make a response, no doubt about it. And really need to do it quick. They need to do it here in the second quarter. I think. Got to make something yeah, positive need, happen. Yeah, some points or lead. You know, at least show that we can move the ball a little bit. So Stockton McGuire, he's been Mr. Everything, only a freshman. I have a feeling that uh, the state of Georgia and private class A, whatever they're calling this subclassification, uh, is going to find out a lot about this young man yeah. over the next three or four years. Yeah, he, he's the real deal. Reminds me of a Dom DeMossi. A little bit of everything. So here's a young man guiding what is now the third ranked AP team coming into it. Another fair catch for Ryan Jennings. Calvary will start again first and 10 at the 36 yard line. A little bit of wind out of the sails right now, Chad. I say a lot, Brian. That, that was just, man, that was just such a tough circumstance to be in. Kind of reminds you of the onside kicks last year in the second round of state playoffs. Yes. Just when you think you get some momentum, um, not recovering the onside kicks. Jake having to drop back and, and throw a little bit down in the pocket, which yep. is not what you know his best thing to do is when he's rolling out or running on the run and, you know, Tough right there from Milan Richard um, coming across the middle. Sets up a second long. Yep. Milan's made the only catch for Calvary tonight. Calvary will run it up the middle. Jay Clements going to get maybe four yards with a minute and a half to go. Landmark might start would, using yeah, timeouts. I would. I mean, I would not want to give the ball back to him right now. Gain of four, third down and six. Because it doesn't look they're going to going to use a timeout. 
You see their coach motioning to the DBs, make sure there's nobody gets behind you on this. Clements back. Under pressure. Going to be hit and move out across the line of scrimmage. They're going to move. hold on to the ball. Yeah, they're going to put him down to the 39, a gain of two. Right at a minute to go, and Landmark will call the timeout. Uh, score from the Savannah area, H.V. Jenkins 13-7 over Savannah Christian right now. So uh, two Savannah schools having a little trouble on opening night so far. Calvary is certainly going to have to make some quick adjustments playing a higher classification team now in Bryan County next week. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it doesn't get any easier. I mean, nothing, I mean, you know, Bryan County, everybody thinks they've been a, been a doormat, but, hey, their new coach over there last year has done a great job. He's re-energized that program. They gave us a scare team in the game last year. Yes, they did. Uh, fought back. You know, they got speed and they got athletes all over the field, and they'll, they'll be a formidable opponent. Um, and then we get a bye week, and then we get into our two crossover games with uh, Montgomery and Trulton. High snap, but no pressure on from Landmark. Pretty good kick here from. I didn't see a. He called the fair catch right okay. at the right when the ball was up in the air. Then he backed off. Fair catch made at the 30. 31 yard punt for Chandler Bennett there. With a minute to go, Calvary down by three scores, 21 to nothing. We can ill afford to give a big play here. Yep. I think we would take Landmark just uh, running the ball a couple times yeah, and going be, to the locker room that'd down That would be grateful 21. if they would. Maybe a little bit of movement here. Not much for the Cavs faithful to get side by offensively. You know, we, we did buckle up from a defensive standpoint and make some big stops. And so you could see the momentum defensively start to feel more comfortable as Coach Keith kind of got in the rhythm of, of calling. And, um, you know, but just a tough, tough situation there. A little draw play. Not much room there for Kirkland. No, I think they'll, they'll probably have, one more, have to run one more play yep. possibly, yep. Kirkland's been the workhorse here for Landmark. We'll have his uh, halftime totals for you. First down, or second down rather than 15. 30 seconds to go in the half. Yep. So just, I believe they're going to take a knee, or are they just going to run a play? Are they gonna yeah, run just it? run a draw play. A couple yards there for number seven, Will Martin. And that will take us to halftime. It's been all landmark. Yeah, it has. The From the opening whistle to the gun to stop the first half of play. 24 minutes in the book. 14 points for landmark in the first quarter. Calvary looked like they finally were stopping a momentum and then a costly mistake on the muffed punt by A.J. Keene gives Landmark in a cheap touchdown at the end of the half. And we go to the halftime locker rooms with the score. Calvary down to Landmark Christian. 21 nothing here on the Calvary Sports Network. What do you what do you say, Brian? If you're if you're Coach Stroud, you have seen how the events played out of you know the, the slow start defensively. Landmark, I mean, chip on the shoulder, ready to play, came out, hitching the mouth. Start to come back, start to see some positive things defensively. We've been in, still in a struggle, you know, new, similar offense last year, but a little bit different mentality on, on how we're doing things. And um, Landmark has, has schemed it very well. So, you know, what's kind of your first thing you think he, he talks about? He is 21 0. You're not out of it by any means. You get the ball back to, to start. You know, kind of what's your opening remarks here? I mean, young team, you know, from that standpoint. I think that you you have to um, talk to your your lines on both sides. I think that uh, the both offensive and defensive line have been pushed around a little bit. Uh, so not allowed Jay Clements much time to throw, um, as well as there's not been any room for Robert Hayward uh, on the ground. 
because of that, Hayward has gotten barely any carries. Well, and I think so. Yeah. I think that's the first thing you got to do is you got to you got to talk about having some toughness in the middle of the middle of the line of scrimmage. I agree with you. It just doesn't seem like Jake's had the the space on these run read options that he he had last year. Now it kind of looks like last year's game offensively. It took us to like the end of the third quarter, fourth quarter, to kind of figure out um, offensively what we were doing. And you started to see some big – Jake had some big plays towards the end of that game. Big runs, started to get some bigger holes, get the touchdown. We get to 14-7. They get an onside kick, and that – you know, they score late there to yep. make it 20. Like I said, it was much closer, a much more defensive struggle. And I agree with you, Brian. It starts in the trenches um, with, with our guys there. You know, and it's going to have to be. But I think also from a defensive perspective, we got to be able to sew down those edges. Um, but, you know, that's kind of the thing. There's about five things we need to talk about. So, right. I wonder, you know, Mark's got to be the first one. Hey, this is a number one priority on what we got to do and what we got to fix. Probably talking more about the offensive side of the ball since we come out and get the ball. That's a positive is that Cav will receive it coming out of halftime. But you have to make something happen on that opening drive if you don't. Yeah. I think it takes a lot of air out of the balloon, and it, it's, I think that that could steamroll into the game getting a little ugly. Yeah, it, it could. Um, you know, it looked that way during the first quarter. It looked like it might get out of hand and, um, you know, fix fix some of that. Um, you know, but you're, you're right, Brian. That This first offensive series for the Cavs will be very, very important uh, going forward. You, you know, if I'm them, though, I'm going to watch for the onside kick. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I think you're exactly right. If, I, if I'm Landmark staff, hey, they've not proven they can move the ball on me. Let's let's end it right here. Let's see if we can do it. But as you say, you got a couple of – get a score and maybe a big defensive play gets you back in the game. I yeah, think. you're just one mistake away just like that from, from being back in it. You know, but they've not really made those mistakes. You know, they fumble in the end zone as well. Yep. We don't recover the quarterback – you know, throw the ball behind the line of scrimmage, miss that one there. So the two times they've kind of put on the ground for us, we've not been there. And the one time we have, they were Johnny on the spot yes. with it. And it, you know, didn't cost them anything in the field position, but it cost Calvary seven points. One thing is for sure, the offense has to be more consistent and get some first downs. Um, Landmark was able to convert 12 first downs in the first half to only one for Calvary. Um, we got a few minutes. Uh, we're going to take a quick break and let our voices cool down a little bit before we uh, talk uh, here at halftime as well as um, have some halftime uh, stats here for both teams. Uh, before we do um, take a step away here for halftime, as you can see the Calvary team talking down there in the end zone, uh, we'll let Chad thank our Calvary Sports Network sponsors once again, and then we will uh, step away just for a moment here at the half. Once again, no athletic program or athletic department, whether it's high school, college, um, can can do anything without sponsors and support uh, from the people within the community Calvary Day School, and we're very supportive of that. Uh, first of all, we'd like to thank our administrative staff, our headmaster, um, Mr. Ralph Finnegan, um, you know, for allowing us to, to do the things we do and uh, have the vision of us going forward. Dr. James Taylor, our urban school principal, uh, man on the ground with us today. Um, you know, very appreciative of them, the vision they're casting and allow us to do certain things in our athletic department. So it starts at the top, and we're very appreciative of those. But here's the people that make it happen for us week in, week, week out in Calvary Athletics. We'd like to thank Miss Annie DeCola of Green's Turf Products. Um, she is just so great to us and everything uh, that we need, you know, for our athletic field, softball, baseball, football field, uh, do the best she can um, for, for that, and we're very appreciative of her. Lane Lee Trucking. Um, all your hauling needs from that spot. Thank Mr. Um, Mr. Oglesby for, for his uh, generosity to Calvary Day program over the years, and his two sons are, are doing well. Curry Cleaners, uh, Calvary looks good every Friday night, and all athletic teams do. Thanks to Mr. John Curry and Curry Cleaners uh, taking care of our needs of our uniforms. Thanks to Granger Honda coming back on board with Calvary. Got a lot of Calvary family um, lined up in them, and uh, we're very appreciative that they are on board with us. Uh, thank you for the, the vehicle. Uh, got it in last night, white Honda Ridgeline. If you've never driven one, go see Granger. 
people's choice. Go drive a Honda. Um, I got to drive it last night. Sweet vehicle. I uh, went to Sam's Club this morning and a lot of hidden territory in that thing you don't see. So uh, great job there. I thank uh, First Chatham Bank, uh, Mr. Gaylord, for his support, his, that bank support. Thank you to Dane Linderman and Checkers. You got to eat somewhere. and Or we'll be getting back at 2 in the morning. If I'm hungry, I'm going to swing by Checkers and grab something. Thanks to uh, Nike for their support, um, our Cabri Athletic Specialty Sports, Ms. Pam Grimes and her businesses, Snelling uh, so Staffing Services. Thanks to Mr. Bill Richard, our man up top with the camera work and State Farm Insurance. Um, appreciate him and what he does. He's everywhere Calvary is as well. Wellington Chiropractic, Dr. Bart Wellington. Uh, tremendous passion uh, for Calvary Athletics. Him and his family, he's gonna be able to build a team uh, probably in the near future. So we're very appreciative to, to them and what they do for us and keeping our athletes on the field, back injuries, things of that nature. He's the first one there to, to help out and even get our staff straight as well. So thank you to Dr. Bart. Uh, Memorial Sports One, our team physician is Dr. Dow Hoffman. Um, did not make the road trip, don't blame him. Long, long trip there, stay in Savannah, but uh, hopefully he will be on the sidelines with us Next Friday is Calvary host the Redskins of Bryan County. Um, Savannah Tire, um, appreciate them coming and staying with us. Jersey Mike Subs, once again, renewing theirs. Marco's Pizza. So uh, just great for all our sponsors there. We picked up a couple new ones. ASRS, Air Service and Refrigeration Specialties Incorporated. Mr. Michael Amack, a Calvary graduate. We were speaking the other day, and he was talking about when Mr. Finnegan was his math teacher. So um, if you've been, been around for a while, um, here Mr. Fingham was our middle school math teacher, women's basketball coach. And um, so if you're out there listening, Mr. Fingham, you can see the impact you've had on the Calvary community for a long time. So uh, John Davis Forrest as well for all your floral needs. Uh, does a great job with that. John Davis Forrest and Balloon Fair. So those are our current sponsors. We want to thank them as we go forward as we – Take a break here for halftime at Landmark Christian. It is the Landmark Christian Eagles 21, your Calvary Day Cavaliers 0. 11.30 left to go in the half.
Have your attention, please. Miss Hannah Wasim. Hojace, I want to say, H-O-J-E-I-J. Miss Hannah Wasim, Hojace. Please report to the press box if you uh, found something that might be of interest to you. Again, Miss Hannah Wasim, Hojace. If you're within the sound of my voice, please report to the press box. Give it up for the boys as they make their way back on the field. Halftime coming to a close here in Fairburn. Calvary down 21 0. Chad and I had the opportunity to talk during halftime about how important it is for Calvary to try to gain some momentum coming out of the tunnel to start the second half of play. And Chad is going to have to start, I think, on the ground. There's going to have to be some, yeah. some type of movement there because. Right now, they're blanketing the coverage on all the Calvary's speedy receivers. So you're going to have to do something on the ground. Before we get into that, do let me tell you about the halftime statistics. Calvary is being outgained. 200 yards on offense for Landmark to 41 for Calvary. 30 of those 41 were on the ground. Calvary only ran um, 22 offensive plays to 40. Offensive plays for yeah, two to one. That's not a landmark. not the ratio that that you want to start off with. And you're right, Brian. Um, as we talked about, the ground game is, is so important. And that's what Calvary, you know, did well last year. Um, you know, basically we look like landmark. You know, some bubble screens, flat screens in the space. Jordan Walker, um, but they, I mean, we've just our receivers just not had any space. They are man to man in our face um, on the defensive front. And they're just giving us no room to do any things that we've, you know, we were been able to do in the past. And that's that was their MO during the state playoffs. That's yep. what they took away. And it took some, you know, athleticism by, you know, Jake last year to we started to really do some things different and change things up and um, get some momentum at the end. And that's what it's gonna take here. Twenty one oh. Can we get things going on the ground? You know, we're, we are disappointed by Calvary's playing to start the, the, the year, though, Chad, but we must remember this is a team that Calvary's playing that uh, played for the state championship last yeah, year. Yeah, it's, so. it's not like we're open. You're, you're right, Brian. Um, but, you know, you, you mark this game down because it gives you something to prepare for all summer. That was kind of Mark's um, idea was, hey, this would be a momentum game during the summer. Chalk it up, a hey, opportunity to come up here. And we're going to see him next year. So coming back to MC they're, Anderson, they're right? Coming back to MC Anderson. So you better get used to playing these guys because we're going to be, you know, we got him this year. I mean, no telling how state playoffs work out. I mean, we got to get there first. Um, you know, and, and then you get, they're coming back, opening game at MC Anderson next year. So, I mean, they're going to be here. I mean, their team is like it's built for a while. This is not a, 
you know, a flash in a pan program. You can see that, you know, especially a freshman quarterback, skilled guys, linemen, they're, they're here for a while. One thing I will say, though, you get, you get the feeling that Landmark is a school as far as its makeup and the type of people that are here. They're very similar to Calvary. Um, very, very, very strong so. Christian values. Yep. Um, and really just a different family feeling that you only feel at a few places, Calvary being one of them, when, when we stepped on campus here this yeah, it's afternoon. Can I, can I say enough about how they've treated us? Yeah, we've, they've, been treat, they've treated us first class. Brett Nastasi, um, the assistant AD, he was, a, he was at Calvary for just one year, won a state championship as assistant for women's basketball. Um, you know, he, he's kind of been our go-to guy here. But, I mean, their communication from their athletic department, you know, they gave us 20 tickets to the game. Great directions, all the info you need, and they've treated us, you know, first class we've been here, and and, um, and they've worked it on the field as well. So we got to respond, put a little chip on our shoulder, and let's get something going. Uh, that's what it's going to take. Calvary, we can see, is heading back over to the sidelines. We've seen some of the new Cavaliers, people like Khalid Hughes and Derek Kirkland on the field, um, have not made a huge impact yet, but. Uh, I've been very impressed with the um, secondary of Landmark. It's done a great job blanketing the Calvary receivers. Mylon Richards has been double teamed most of the night. He's only made one catch. And then again, Jay Clements has not really had a lot of time to put the ball in the air. No, he's not. And when your ground game's not working and you're forcing the long downs and throwing, then the defense gets the pin and ears back and come get you. And, um, and that's exactly what's happened to Calvary. They've been in third longs and defense have kind of you know, get on their fingertips and come get some, and that's what they what they that's what they've done. We'll see if uh, the youngster McGuire, uh, Stockton McGuire, will keep, do the onside kick like we talked about, or if he will put it in the air. Calvary does have a couple guys deep right now. The deepest man is Stephon Williamson. McGuire will kick it off from the 40. They've kicked it short every time towards Ryan Jennings, who stands right now at his own <laughs> yeah. 33. He's like, is it going to come in again? What's it, the fourth time today? 12 minutes on the clock, third quarter underway. Oh, this is placed well. Jennings has to come up. He gets hit. Did not call the fair catch, but he does safely hold on to the ball at the 42-yard line. So it was kind of one of those tweeners yeah, that yeah, could have went either way. Each time, you've noticed, it's, you know, got the 30, 34, 35, and then right here at the 40. I mean, they're getting better and better at it each time out. First and 10 for Calvary. Going to be from the shotgun. Jay Clements keeps it on the straight keeper. Nothing on the Loses right side. He's going to be brought down at the line of scrimmage. Maybe even a loss of one. Jake had uh, 29 yards in the first quarter, our first half of play, I should say. His first carry in the second half nets negative one. Second down and 11. Yeah, once again, we're talking about the biggest thing is, you know, the linemen. Right. You know, that's what school, you know, we've got to have a better showing from. Luke Stroud is in the backfield for the first time tonight. Clement's back, still throwing off his back, back foot, foot, looking for Milan Richard. Great Big job grab. by Milan making the catch double team. <laughs> wow. Only Calvary's second first down of the game. It's inside the 38-yard line. A uh, big play there for Calvary. Still, I mean, not, not pretty. 23 yards on the play. But we'll take it. Once again, hurry up mode for Calvary. Everything's trying to be fast, not letting the defense rest. Yeah, first and 10, ball at the landmark 38. Handoff Robert Hayward following his blockers. He gets down to the 35. Fumble, fumble, on the, fumble play. the ball and Landmark picks it up at the 31. I thought he was brought down. He was knocked down at the 35. The ball ended up all the way down at the 30. Landmark gets it, though, and we said Calvary could not make a mistake, and they did, just one minute. And right at 11 minutes, they will take over Will Landmark at the 31. Yes, yeah, one of those tough situations, Brian. You're trying for extra yardage, but you know, wasn't able to secure the ball and turn it over to Landmark. Second fumble of the game. There's 
Oh, another fumble. fumble on the crate. Cowboy gets it right back. back. Yep, great strip wow. of the ball there by, I believe that was Andre Wilson, or was it Derek Kirkland? I think it was Kirkland who came in from the side, and Chandler Bennett picks it up with the 20, so... We were all wow. down in the dumps there just for yeah. one play. Calvary's got it right back inside. Looking to park at the 21, first and 10. I can't text and tweet that fast. Coach Griff 21, folks, yep. if you're following on Twitter. And actually gains good field position. Shotgun, handoff to, they're going to go right back to Hayward. Good blocking, 20, 15, Team. 10. And he rumbles down to the six. Good. Good to go right back to him. I, yep. I like that. Give, tell him, show him you got confidence in what he can do and his ability, and he, he showed it there. Big game there for the Cavs. You can start to see a little pep and, and Jake step here. We can start to see a little feel, you know, a little momentum, you know, see what we can do here. Definitely need to punch it in. Well, this is what a Calvary needed. First and goal. Football is at the – Seven yard line. Hayward again. Got down low using that low center of gravity inside the five to the three. Number 66 on the tackle for landmark Reed McGuire. The brother of the quarterback, Reed, is a senior. Yep. Gain of uh, four yards, second down and goal. Quickly here as uh, landmark's running, trying to run people on and off. He never got the the field. Another fumble. I think Calvary got on it in the end zone. No. They didn't. Ball was fumbled into the end zone. I think they had 12 men on the field when it snapped. It sure did look like it, but the ref on the near side did not see it. Robert Hayward is hurt. But that ball was fumbled in the end zone. It will be a touchback, and Landmark will get it. That, that guy was not off the field. He, he was not. They were – Landmark was switching, trying to switch D linemen off the field. Um, and so when we snapped it, there was 12 men on the field. Referees, though, did not see it in the third fumble of the game against Calvary. And the second here within a span of two minutes. I tell you, man, it is just – it's some tough breaks out there. You got to create your own luck. Um, but it is unfortunately what, what's happening. So Robert Hayward is being treated right at 10 minutes to go here in the third quarter. Mm -hmm. He lost a up. Bill Richard is having some trouble with his camera upstairs. So if you see that on the screen, I think his battery is dying. <laughs> Not sure what he's playing with, but. Uh, what you were seeing right now on the score, sh on the <laughs> camera is not from an hour. Uh, Bill Richard is going back and is getting the catch of Mylon Richard had earlier in the game. That was the that was what got the momentum started for Calvary. What's that catch from yeah. Mylon Richard? Game is about to get back underway here. As we are now back live. Ten minutes to go in the third quarter. First and ten landmark. Higby is under center, hands off. This is number seven, Will Martin. Luke Stroud. And I believe that was A.J. Keen came up, made a big hit yep. after a gain of one. A.J.'s a little, little stunned there. But Luke got him on the edge, and A.J. came up and knocked him out of bounds as well. Hard hit there. It was. Second down and nine. Hey, still early. Still very early here in the third quarter. If Cavs can make a stop, get the ball back in good field position. Yep. have shown a little bit of speed and power coming out of the 
halftime. Going with the power set again, Martin right up the middle. And good job there by Chandler, Chandler Bennett. Bennett. Yeah, yeah. Coming off the le right end position. Like uh, somebody's down for Landmark, one of the offensive linemen, but he gets up. Gain of one again, that was Martin. So to bring up third down and eight. Yeah, fiscal game down the trenches, guys. I mean, it's, you know, it's where games won and loss, and you're really seeing that tonight from both sides of the ball for the linemen. Third down and eight coming up. Going to be a fake. It's going to be a straight quarterback keeper looking for the block. Second effort He'll gets him get close there. to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I think he's going to get it. No, I think if, if it's this near referee, it's going to be – Ooh, wow. They're going to mark it back a yard short, fourth and one. Man. Looks like they're going for it. Might as well. Got the yeah. momentum. Eight minutes to go in the third quarter. Fourth down and a yard to go. Challenging the Cavaliers. Maybe it's one of these where they tried to get you off sides, call a timeout. Uh, fourth, and, fourth and short. High formation, going for it. Got, Got it. it. Just took it off of left side of the line. Got a yard and a half for the first down. Higby had 33 yards in the first half. Now got 11 here in the second half. So 44 overall. Seven and a half to go third quarter. We're reaching the halfway point, nearing it at least. Yep. And uh, because of the fumbles by both teams, nobody really getting any momentum. But Calvary, which had the golden opportunity to get on the scoreboard, let it go to waste by fumbling into the end zone. Right now, Landmark has gotten the one first down out of their end zone, and they're trying to slowly march up the field. Will Martin, as they're just trying to do some grinding right now. Yeah, they're really kind of going away from what they did very well in the first quarter. You know, the kind of zone read stuff, motion stuff in the space. We've not really seen – yeah, number five and number 22. Andre out. Wilson yeah. knocked him down behind the line for a loss of one, uh, second down and 11 at the 30-yard line. they got to get out to the 42, so it's almost uh, 11 and a half yards. Offset eye, put a man in motion. it will be two receivers to the left side. Quick pass. McGuire throws. Yeah, good catch out here. That was number 81, Will Walters. Still giving a little bit of space off the corners. Yep, the will be brought down, makes the catch of the 36. Gain of six, and bring up uh, third down and about six, maybe five and a half, six yards to go. Yeah. Probably looks something to the wide side of the field here. Yep. Update from Savannah. Um, H.B. Jenkins, 13. Savannah Christian seven at the half. Third down, six. Doesn't like the play as we go under six minutes to go. Looks like Stu McGuire's changing it. Goes back under pressure, throws it wide. And Derek Kirkland was uh, standing there in his linebacker position, had the coverage. Yeah, a little bit. Of Fourth down. Excuse me, Chad, go no, ahead. No, yeah, just putting some pressure on as well. That was big, kind of hurried him to get his feet set there, I think, to make the throw that he wanted to. So Calvary's defense. Holds. Yep, it's big. A.J. Keene, instead of going back, they're going to bring in uh, Kalik Hughes. Yeah. Landmark's having some trouble getting some their personnel on off the field. I have Kalik listed as a senior. Is that true? No, he is a sophomore, junior, right? Junior. Junior. He's yeah, in a did. sophomore homeroom. I'm not sure why. Because he's in my homeroom. Huh. Good pun Good. here. Hughes will call for the fair catch at the 22. The Calvary holds, and we'll get the ball back at the 22-yard line. Yep. 42-yard punt, by the way, and no return. But time is a ticking. Yeah, if we're going to do something, we gotta we got to do it quick with five and a half to go here in the third quarter. Um, good fair catch there by Kalik. Yep. 
22-yard line, first and 10 for Calvary. Five and a half to go here in the third quarter. Bill Richard, Casey Nelson, Chad Griffin, and Brian Evans with you from Fairburn, Georgia. Landmark Christian leading Calvary right now, 21 love. Got 21 receivers nil. everywhere on this, Brian. Yep, five receivers, well, four receivers and a running back. That's Derek Kirkland, fake the handoff to the running back. Good block there coming out there, number 66. That's Tripp Pearson. This is setting oh. Luke, or, uh, Jay Clements so we'll down the back. sidelines. There is a flag back we'll at the 40. All the way back. Yep, Clements will be brought down at the 10, but where the flag is, it'll probably be first down and about three yards to go. Wow. Man, it's just, that's just been, been our luck tonight, Brian. Yep. Uh, they're right there, it's luckily it's right there in front of Coach Stroud, so he's getting a pretty good argument and his name in with the official. But yeah, he's 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 a bit fired up right now, and that's kind of way you feel. You feel like we're taking one step forward and two back at times. Well, like I said, it should be first down and about three if they mark that off from the forty. Yep, you're correct, Brian. Good spot there. First down and two is what it'll be. So, takes away about a 70-yard <laughs> okay. run and makes but, it a hey, net run the, of seven. The positive is, I mean, yeah, we did get out on the edge and get some space. Clemens to throw, completes the pass. Kalik Hughes knocked out of bounds at the 36-yard um, line, a gain of seven and a first down. He's the first person other than Mylon. Mylon to make a catch. Sorry, I was uh, writing right. down the stats there. You're, you're a man of multiple talents, Brian. I cannot do it. <laughs> it's not get carried away here in the air. Shotgun, handoff. This is Kirkland. Runs right in the middle of the line and not much there. Number 56, uh, the... Defensive tackle came in and made the stop. That is uh, Bry Wiggins, a senior. Give Kirkland two yards, though. I, think, uh, I want to thank Miss Thaggard here. She's tweeting me back. She goes, I have the laptop set up so my parents can watch. We're all cheering for a touchdown. So are we, Donna. So are we. Fake the handoff. Going to throw off oh, his back throw. foot. Wide open is Ryan Jennings makes the catch of the 40 down to the 35-yard line. Big play there. Number 17, Cole Higby is uh, cramping up over here. The um, – um, starting quarterback in the game, and he's playing defense. He's cramping up here on the sideline, but the play, though, will go um, after the play went from the 37-yard line. Yep. 20, 29-yard play there to Ryan Jennings. Good concentration there by, by Ryan. Stay focused on catching that ball. Defenders coming in. Uh, big first down there for the Cavs, moving the ball into landmark field position. So they, for the injury timeout. Yeah, still early in the season. Yeah, cramps, not, humid. Not, not surprised. Yeah, not surprised. Something you're dealing with. Both sides are going to have to deal with. So it'll be first and ten for Calvary out of the injury timeout. Actually going to make the official line of scrimmage the 36. Yeah, he's like he's got a full, full body cramp going on down yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that is the worst, worst feeling. There's nothing you can do. You can't lay straight enough to, to help it out here. Out of the shotgun, four receivers. Fake the handoff to Kirkland, bouncing outside again. Trip. Brad Butler. Brad Butler, excuse me. Pulling outside and doing a great job. Brad has done that a couple times. Jay Clements will pick up about 
They're going to mark him with a 32, so five yards on the play. 3.50 to go in the quarter. Got to keep speeding this up. Got to, got to go. Second down, five. Clements back, rolls out now, fits back over the middle, overshoots his man. Oh, oh. still almost caught. A second, the Calvary had two guys there on the seam, and Jordan Walker just about made an excellent catch. Yeah, through, once again, another landmark another cramp. guy cramp, cramping up. Oh, man, it just absolutely hurts like anything when those cramps start. Yep. You know, it's a double-edged sword here. It gives you time to organize an offense, but it's kind of opposite of what Calvary wants to do. They want to play faster and quicker and keep the pace up, and you know maybe that's starting to wear on some of the, the landmark players as they're starting to cramp up more and more. Or you could say, you know, what happened to Oregon? Anytime they got going fast, yeah. <laughs> injuries just... injuries happened. But they're up 21-0, so I don't really think that's that's <laughs> something that's happening. College football season will be starting pretty soon. Amen, brother. This Thursday, right? Only kickoff. I believe so, yeah. First first game of the year will get started. Man, glory, glory, hallelujah to the fall. <laughs> sitting there cool at night. weather and football. Yeah, sitting there at night. Um, promo comes on ESPN with all the college football. And I just sitting there and put my hands up in the air. And Sherry's like, my wife's like, what are you doing? I said, man, college football stars. We've got something on TV to watch. I said, hey, you got Dancing with the Stars. I got college football. So while that cramp gets worked out, Chad can have an opportunity to thank some of our sponsors again. Yeah, we want to look at, uh, once again, we want to thank Savannah Tire, Memorial Sports One, our athletic trainer, Stacey Bourne. We got the best athletic training staff. These girls do a great, great job. Two Hannahs, Hannah Hobson, um, Hannah Shores, Betsy Sutton joining on staff. You know, so we got a great staff as well. Marines Turf Prox, John Davis Flores, Lane and Lee Trucking, Curry Cleaners, Granger Honda, First Chan Bank, Checkers, Nike Specialty Sports, State Farm, Mr. Bill Richard, Warrington Chiropractic, John Davis Flores. So I want to thank all our sponsors for their support. Big new sponsor coming on board, ASRS Incorporated, Mr. Michael and Mac, Air Service and Refrigeration Specialties. We gave you the information about how Mr. Finnegan taught Mr. Lamac in math. Then uh, Ms. Thagger texted me and said that Mr. Finnegan was her geometry teacher in, in high school. So... Mr. Fing, if you're out there listening, everybody's telling on you. All right, I'm not. I'm not the guy doing it, but there's others that are. They're telling on you. I wonder if Mr. Fing does watch the Calvary Sports Network. I don't know. I hope so. I mean, he asked me last year, to come in his office and show him how to set it up. So, looks like a war of attrition going on here. <laughs> It'll be third down and five. After the. Cramps, looks like Jordan Walker is even cramping up a little bit for Calvary. Yeah, everybody's down there stretching. There's pretty high humidity, and the temperature probably still hovering around 85 or maybe 82 with 83 degrees here in North Georgia. Third down and five for Calvary. Clements under center. Straight run, needs a block. He gets it. Cuts gets outside 30, 25, 20. Oh, lowers his shoulder. And he knocks the guy out of bounds as he's inside the 18-yard line. So great run there. Bring up first down and 10 for Calvary as that play will go for 17 yards. And Calvary Brian. moves the chains again. Brian, we're on ghsa.tv backslash. Calvary Day School. Calvary Day School. If you just go to ghsa.tv, which is the Play On Sports website for Georgia, you can find the game listed as games of the week. Pass incomplete. I believe we're going to have, was looking for Khalid Hughes. I believe we're going to have pass interference. Good. As a uh, guy was all over Khalid Hughes. Starting to see some positive things that you have the Calvary offense as they started getting to play faster and you're seeing some uh, landmark kids 
you know, coming in and out. They're really trading get kids in and out. Cramps really affecting the uh, the kids at Landmark. It is pass interference against Landmark. It'll be half of the distance to the goal. That'll put the ball inside the uh, nine yard line. First and goal for the Cavs. Let's see if Calvary can punch it in here and, and make this a, a contest. We've had opportunities. The second half, we've done a good job, Brian, of getting down there. Just some unfortunate circumstances have put us in some difficult situations. First and goal for Calvary. Shotgun for Clements. Four receivers. Rolls to the near side. Cuts it back. He gets down to the seven. He got a couple yards, I think, before he ran into number 56. Yeah, good defense there by Landmark on the edge. Yeah, that's Bry uh, Wiggins. He's had a pretty good game. Three yards on the play. Second down and goal. Football is down to the seven and a half, or six and a half, really. Yeah, 250 left to go on the clock here in the third quarter. Yeah, time's, time's of the essence here. Calvary, though, got some positives going. They make it 21-7 here. Clements back, looking, looking. Now he's going to tuck it. Ten, five, and he cuts it down inside the five to the four. So to bring up third down and goal to go, four yards from the end zone, and I think Calvary may be in four-down territory. They're bringing in Luke Stroud, a short yardage runner. He's going to come in for Milan Richard as Ryan Jennings will shift over to the right side of the line. Third down and goal. Gotta Two go, minutes guys. to go Yep. in the third. Trying to speed things up here. Two men in the backfield. Handoff, Kirkland cuts it inside. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Calvary. Oh, this is for Jason Shale. Boom goes the dynamite. That's right. Finally, finally Calvary is yes. in the end zone as Derek Kirkland scores his first career Calvary touchdown, the junior. And Calvary's back in the game at 21-6. It is. This is a positive momentum here for the Cavs, um, getting back on the board. Um, a crucial extra point, though. Can't, can't afford to give away points. Reagan Jones, the holder. Kick on the way, short but good. Yes. Just got underneath it. And that's, you know, and that's tough for Luke. He's on the field playing defense and got to come in there and kick the extra point. So good job there for Luke. 21-7, 155 remaining in the third quarter. Now – Here's the opportunity. You know, here we go for Calvary. Need a, a good kick here, get good field position, and do what the defense has been doing in the second half. I wonder if we'll see a different type of offense now that Calvary's on the board. Will Landmark right. go back to some of the spread stuff, read option stuff, motion? Fans, a reminder that you can watch the second episode of Cavs Corner. That'll be coming up Monday. Um, Chad and I will discuss the week that was in Calvary sports and set you up for next week uh, some big games going on next week including next friday night's home opener at mc anderson against the bryan county redskins yeah Let's hope the weather cooperates all week yeah thanks to uh i don't know if it's a hurricane now but um by the time it's supposed to be yeah, you know, i think into into tomorrow and sunday it's supposed to be hurricane strength category yep. one on the western edge of florida will disrupt the National Republican Convention, but we're more worried about disrupting the day school that's, that's and, right. and our playing time. We can worry about Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan later. We got day school football going on. Yeah, man. Kickoff for Luke Stroud. He kicked it in the end zone last time, angling this one towards the sideline, and that's yes. going to be well deep in the end zone. Good job there, Luke. Yep. So ball will be out to the 20. Minute 55 to go. In the third quarter, 21-7, Landmark leads. But if Calvary can somehow stop them here fairly early, maybe Calvary can get something going, get the football back uh, early in the quarter. We got two minutes to go, as we said. Landmark back in the field with their offense. Stockton McGuire is in a quarterback. Remember Cole Higby there. Senior starter has been cramping here in the second half. Single setback will not get the football as the pass is deflected and almost intercepted there by Derek Kirkland. That would have been a pick six. That would have been huge. But as it is, pass is incomplete and it'll bring up second down and 10.
So line of scrimmage remains at the 20 yard line, second down and 10 for Landmark. Stockton hands off, got some running room. As the flag comes in, maybe a hold as that came from the umpire or is either a hold or a face mask because that one was carried by number 47, William Higby out to the And it was a hold against Landmark, so this one's coming back. Some athletic duties called your way, no problem. Yeah, just set up our post-game meal delivery. Second down and seven. There was a holding penalty after that big carry there from Colton Higby. So the penalty will... Take away a first down from Landmark. Clock running, minute 40 to go in the third. Higby is the deep man in the I formation. Going to hand to the up back. Big hit from Matt Sauce, who came up and plugged the hole at the 24. Number 12 was the ball carrier for Landmark. That was Evan Price. Price gains a couple yards. They'll bring up third down and six. Third down, six. Here we go, guys. We've done, yep. done a good job. Last several third down opportunities. Going to throw deep. Man over here, one-on-one -on -one coverage. Knocked oh, away, great Khalid play. Hughes. Great play by Cleek Hughes. See Coach, Coach Tillman happy about that. We've not talked about any of our new coaching staff, but uh, Tavares Tillman um, played for Coach Stroud at Toons, played at Tech, and um, we're great to have him on staff here at Calvary, uh, teaching business finance, psychology, and coaching up our DBs. What a great job. Great job by Kalik. And he'll uh, now go back to receive the punt. Hughes will be the punt receiver with 51 seconds. Hey, Chad, defense stepping up. Yeah, they are. You know, once again, Landmark's having some issues getting kids on off the field, but man, now what a what a great, great job by the defense. And, you know, offense is getting going. You know, hopefully it's not a little too late here, but you you start to see some character, yep. you know, building in this team. And we were a little concerned what, we're, what we saw early on, but great job. Well, Calvary putting your pressure on. They will not. Another good punt. Calvary needs to get away from it. Yep, it's yep. going to take a landmark bounce and be down at the four. It should be a Calvary bounce yep. at the 45. Good so job. Good, so good field position. That was only a 30-yard punt. Calvary will start right at their own 45. Still have 12 minutes, 41 seconds in this game. Plenty of time. This is where this conditioning and playing fast. And I mean, Coach Strauss talked about that. This is one of those opportunities now we can get things going, get right back in this thing. 21 to 7. Calvary has the football trailing by 14. Handoff goes to Derek Kirkland. Ooh, Kirkland like there is was a face max there. Wrapped up around his head. Yeah, wrapped up right around the course collar by big number 56, and he's had a whale of a game. Bry Wiggins. Yeah, yeah. Gain of one. Twenty-two seconds. Maybe Calvary can run one more play here in the half. A quarter, excuse me. Fake the handoff. Clements over the middle has Cleek Hughes, Hughes makes the catch. 30, 25, 20, Hold 15, the ball, 10. Please. He's down to the five yard line. Wow. Great, great job. Jake staying in the pocket with pressure around him. Delivers it to Cleek Hughes, makes a great catch. Gets down to the five yard line with three seconds left to go. In the third quarter, great momentum here for the Cavs. That was a 47-yard play from scrimmage. Calvary, did they? Uh, they did not get the playoff to end the quarter. That's all right. Big momentum shift here for the Cavs. Yep. We head to the fourth quarter. Calvary's down by 14, but they'll have it first and goal from the five as the fourth quarter begins. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us here 
opening night of 2012. This is the Calvary Sports Network. Along with Bill Richard, Casey Nelson, and Chad Griffin, I am Brian Evans from Fairburn, Georgia. Calvary on the road to begin the season. It's been a while since Calvary has opened up. Well, actually, they did last year. Yeah. But actually, we didn't three go too out, far away. I must say, three out of the last four years we've actually opened up on the road because we three at years Walker. ago we were in Walker. Yep. Then last year in Montgomery, well, then, we, then three years ago we opened up at home against Walker. Last year, no, that was last year, wasn't it? Three years ago at Walker. Two home. years ago, home to Walker. Last year was Montgomery County on yes, the road. So three out of the last four years on the road in the Mark Stroud era. He loves to be the world traveler. Uh, yeah. Or is it the Chad Griffin loves to be the world traveler? No. <laughs> well, Calvary, as we start the fourth quarter, will have it first down and goal from the five. Jake Clements will be in the shotgun. Pressure coming. He's going to keep it himself, needs a block, he gets it. Puts the ball down right at the goal line. They're going to mark him right at the one. Give him four wow. yards on the play. Jake is getting a little bit bold, I might say, by putting that football yeah. out there. Yep. But oh, up. They, they're finally, well, they're going to give him the, the well, referee comes from the far second, side. Now. We got one far side ref signaling. We got the other guy. The referee over here on the far side said it was a touchdown. On the Calvary well, sideline. They don't have the clock running. So here's here's the deal. I mean, what are they? I'm not sure what they did. I think they gave him the touchdown. They gave him the touchdown. Yes, they did. So the extra point wow. is in. It's 21-13. I never really saw a signal. And Luke Stroud is in to there. attempt the extra point. Bad snap. Kick on the way. It is Evo. Good job by good Luke. Job. He did not. He did not panic, neither did uh, Reagan Jones, Jones on the hold. Kick is good, and Calvary is within seven. It's 21-14. One play and a score. Great job. As It's great to see, Chad, that Jay Clements is getting the opportunity to lead his team back, and he's done a great job. He, it has. I mean, I think it, you know we, we talked about it at halftime. It had to start on the line of scrimmage, giving Jake some time. Had to start with their defense, getting into their backfield. Um, you've also kind of seen a little bit of change in philosophy from Landmark offensively. I don't know if it's the fact that some of their skill guys, like 22 and number five. We are, haven't seen Jeremiah uh, yeah, Kirkland. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's down there. Um, number five is being stretched out for cramps. 22 we've not seen as, as well. He is without his helmet here on the sidelines. He's running rather gingerly. He's been doing that the whole third quarter. I don't know yeah. if it's uh, maybe a hammy or something like yeah, that. Maybe. So. But that is, and then of course Cole Higby, their starting quarterback, had cramps middle of the third quarter. So injury bug has really hit them. I mean, they started out like bandits, and um, you know we caught some lucky breaks, but the Cavs are back in this. Kick is deep again. A great leg. That's going to be in the end zone. That is an yeah, automatic he, touchback yep. in high school, and it might be good there because that <laughs> number 11's got some speed. Yeah, he's got some wheels, and. Uh, so here, here they come. Can the Cavs, once again, can the Cavs defense step up and make another huge stop within seven? Tons of time left to go. But um, can Landmark, you know, rebound here? Football will be out of the 20. Landmark Christian leading it by seven. Still have pretty much the whole fourth quarter to go. Yep. Can Calvary keep the momentum here, especially defensively? you got to feel good, though, about how Calvary has responded in the second half, Chad, even with the adversity of the couple, the two turnovers they had. Again, it's going to be Stockton McGuire. Or no, actually, Cole Higby's back in the game, and he's going to run it himself. So they've gone back to the shotgun, and he uses that speed. He gets 13 yards before he runs out of bounds. So we're going to yeah. have to see if he's going to put this team on his back and lead them back down the field. So Calvary might have to adjust their defense if they're going to have that outside threat guy yeah. that can get outside the tackle box. You kind of saw, you know, look at how many down linemen they have now and what they were doing. Right. So it looks like they're going to kind of line up and, you know. They use the speed rather than the power. Yeah, you're right. I think that's what they're going to do because their skill guys are out. Higby's going to keep it himself. Dives across the 35. Markham at the 36-yard uh, line. Again, of about three, bring up second down and seven. Uh, Matt Sauce in the middle makes the stop. 
clock running, 11.19 to go. So we've seen the Calvary. Um, we talked earlier that when A.J. Keene made that big hit on that running play, he is actually not in the game since then. It's been yeah. Lee Hughes playing the corner. Reagan Jones on the other side. Luke White as well. Luke, yeah, Luke White is kind of back in that uh, strong safety position. Another run. Good, Good job again block. by the yeah, wow. defense, and they got a lot of run, running room. Higby out of bounds inside the 40 to the 37 of Calvary. 28 yards on the play. And Landmark very quickly has gotten back into Calvary territory for the first time here in the second half. Football yeah. is at the Calvary 37-yard line. And it's been all Higby on the ground. And uh, they have we've not seen number five, and we've not seen number 22 for them. Kirkland and uh, Burns. Yeah, but they've really not knee on this drive. Higby's kind of put them on their back and... Look how deep he's lining up. He's almost in that Tim Tebow position. That's yep. what he's doing, just running it straight up the middle. Fine. You know, he's able to read the holes on the trap blocks. He gets a couple to the 35, ring up second down and eight. In the middle there was Matt Sauce and I believe Micah Colberth. Mike is in there. you got Hunter Sherwood on the line. They've uh, brought Ryan Jennings to play a little bit of defensive end right now. He's out there. He's been moving back and forth. Uh, Andre Wilson is in the game currently as well. AJ's back in. AJ Keen is back in. First look in the year, those those matte helmets that you talked about. We're not going with the shiny helmets this year. Yeah, Mark wanted to do the, the matte finish, kind of TCU-esque. It looks pretty good, I think. Higby running straight to his left, breaks a couple tackles, but Andre Wilson's not going to let go at the 33. They're going to give him uh, maybe two yards or bring up third down and five. Luckily, Andre Wilson got a grab of that jersey. Yeah, He's gone under went. 10 minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Third down, caught five and a half. Brian, do you think you're in four down territory here? The lead. Stockton McGuire's has a heck of a leg, too. I think that with the lead, you are in four down territory. Um, I just think in high school, that's kind of the, the percentages are with you there. Yeah especially if they can get uh, three or four yards here on this third down play. Calvary's got eight, nine men on the line, shifting a man over. Bobble that's snap, man. and that's going to allow both Micah Colberth and Chandler Bennett to get in the backfield. It's actually going to lose two yards back to the 35. It will be uh, fourth down and eight. You still might be in fourth down territory, though. Yeah, because you're, I mean. Well, they're actually going to mark them back to the original line of scrimmage. That's a five-yard loss. Because even if you don't get it, you're not really, because you punt the end zone to get at, at the 20. You know, but it does, I mean, it looks like they're going for it. They might call a timeout here and think about it. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Play clock's running down, letting yep. time tick here. So we can pause for a moment and take our breaths. Eight and a half to go in the game. Calvary down by seven, fourth and long. I've been uh, getting some, I was getting some mystery texts here. You know, we were struggling a bit and getting some texts about, you know, every failure brings with its seed of equivalent success, Napoleon Hill. You know, we started to score and victory belongs to the most persevering Napoleon Bonaparte. I Trying to find who it is. Is Brad Jr. I wonder if it's Brad Butler's dad or not. So, once again, once we have this break in action, to thank our sponsors once again, Greens Turf Products, Lane Lee Trucking, Curry Cleaners, Granger Honda, First Chatham Bank, Checkers, Nike, Specialty Sports, State Farm, Mr. Bill Richard. Wellington Chiropractic, Memorial Sports One, Savannah Tire, John Davis, Forrest. And um, so thank you guys for making this happen. Thank you for allowing us to, to do the things we do on the Calvary Sports Network. So fourth down and eight. They are in either a position to go for it or they could do a kick out of this. Yeah, they got everything spread. I don't think they're going to. He's going to throw it. 
Calvary does not have pressure on. Man over the middle, tipped. Oh, and incomplete, that's probably Luke better. Stroud. But Calvary's defense is held. And it'll be first and 10 Calvary. Football will be at the, uh, the Calvary 35-yard line. The Cavs have it back. Big defensive stop there, guys. I mean, confidence has to be just booming here for the Cavs. This has definitely been a tale of two halves. It was the best of halves. It was the worst oh, of halves. Oh, nicely done. Nicely done. Or it's actually, I guess, reversed right now. Clements, straight run. Needs a block, doesn't get it, yeah. and gets back to the line of scrimmage. I think you're going to see more upfront pressure coming from Landmark. I don't think they're going to sit back like they've done the last couple of series. Second down and 10. A big number 90 in the middle right God, now for man, Landmark. He's a mountain, mountain of a being. <laughs> he's definitely made it hard to run up the middle. He's, I mean, you got two guys having to block down on him. Devin Pruitt is his name. Fumble snap. Clemens picks it up, throws down the field, has a man wide open. Jordan Walker makes the catch inside the 20, down to the 18. What a fortuitous bounce on the snap right into Jake's hands, and he just unloaded and got it down there. Great catch by Jordan Walker, and the Cavs once again in striking distance. First catch of the game for Jordan Walker. 47 yards on that play. Good throw by, by Jake. I mean, he threw it on a line. First down and 10 for Calvary. Football is at the 18. Showing blitz. Robert Hayward back in the game. He gets the handoff, and he gets Still down grinding. to the 15. Yeah, he gets three yards in the play. Good to see Robert back in there. So three yards in the play. It'll bring up a second down and seven. Seven minutes, 23 seconds to go. We are on the 15. 15 yard line, correct, sir. Maybe look for Mylon Richard here. 21 14. Mylon is in the slot on the right. Khalid Hughes is out there as well. You got Ryan Jennings to the slot to the left, along with Jordan Walker. Clements running right. to his right. Needs a block. Doesn't get it. He's going to be marked down at the line of scrimmage. Big third down here. That was. Uh, I believe Bryce, uh, no, Reed McGuire, number 66, in the backfield to make the tackle. So 6.42 to go, and it is uh, now third down and seven for Calvary. They trail by seven, so I believe Calvary is in four-down territory. You don't have to go for the home run here if you do not want. Just try to get something over the middle. Fake the handoff. Clemens looking. Throws into the end zone for Ryan Jennings. Makes it again. Touchdown, and the Cavaliers are within a point. What a great throw. What great concentration by Ryan Jennings on the edge. You know, what a, what a tremendous throw and catch for the Cavs. Huge extra point coming up. Jay Clements is six out of seven in the second half, and that is his first touchdown toss of the year. And it's 21 to 20. Calvary is within one. Six minutes, 20 seconds to go. What a throw and catch there. Luke Stroud to tie the game. We wait the snap. Landmark jumps. The kick is on the way. It is up, and it is good. And with six minutes, 20 seconds to go in the contest, Calvary has tied the game at 21 apiece. Wow, Brian, if we had sit here and told me after the first quarter, you know, but uh, all the text from Brad Jr., Keep them coming, man. It's it's working. Cavs have responded. They bow their necks back, and they have shown some character in the second half and come out. You know, it's a testament to the coaching staff and to the kids. The coaches can coach as much as they want, but these kids have to respond. Yep. And uh, and they they have done it. And I'm uh, so proud of these young men. And you know, they're fighting back this. And you see, I mean, you got some pep in the step here for for the Cavs, but. Uh, Defense has got to step back up now. Yeah, you know, and it's been, you know, that's the thing. The the scores have been quick, so the defense is right back on the field. And so you go out to watch about, you know, their endurance here in the, the weighing stages of the game. Luke Stroud, once again, see if he can put it in the end zone. It's been a game of momentum, certainly.
Calvary's got it right now. Score 21 straight and tied it up. Luke Stroud has kicked it in the end zone every time, and, and he's be back again. done it again. So ball will come out to the 20. That has made a big difference as well oh, here in the second man. half. So the landmark Christian War Eagles will have it first down and 10 from their own 20-yard line. I got to throw some love out to my new cross-country coach, Corey Martin. He's uh, watching the game and former Calvary some, Sports Network. Yeah, former former Calvary Sports Network um, guy on man. home games, and I'm sure the if he'd like to fill that seat, um, I'm sure it's open for him to do so at, at all home events. So Corey, if you're out there, man, we'd love to have you next week because. I'll be working. Cole Higby keeps it himself. He's in trouble. Oh, the football. I think he got on it. We'll wait and see. No. Calvary's got, got it. got it. Calvary's got it inside the 20. Big play by Andre Wilson. Knocked it right out of the hands of Cole Higby, and Higby is hurt again. He is, I believe he's cramping once again. That could be big if Calvary's able to put the ball in the end zone here, but they will have it first and 10 at, their, at the landmark 17-yard line. I can't believe it. Yeah. What a turn of events here. And, and actually two players right now cramping for Landmark. And, of course, we're not on the Calvary side to see if we've had anybody cramping. No, we can't. We can't tell um, on, on that side. But that's kind of been the thing. You know, Mark talked about during camp how these kids were they were blowed up because right. the speed of practice was so fast. And he was, you know, he was hoping for something like this, that you get in a game and hopefully, you know, the physicality and the fitness level of having to play at this speed would affect your opponent. Not only that, I mean, he, he also talked about uh, – Coach Stroud talked about even the um, last couple of weeks that he was afraid that that – that little bit of edge might have been lost because of the rain, but um, yeah, I mean, Lord, we've had we if we if there was indoor gym football, <laughs> we'd be pretty good. I think we'd be ranked like number one in the state because we have spent plenty of time inside the gymnasium. But I mean, and that's in a small field like that, and working, you can really work on some speed drills, though. I think that's I've been of some help. Right now, it is 21-21. We're at a injury timeout as Landmark has two players on the field. 21, 21, 614 to go here in the fourth. Calvary yep. will have the ball. Just just under six and a half minutes. So only the it was the first play from scrimmage after the Calvary score yep. was the fumble. Now where's the ball going to be, Brian? It's going to be about the about the 18, I think. Officially. The Calvary fans that made the trip are across the way. Have to be loving this. Yeah, they can. They, you know, when they got here, they probably wondered what was going on. And now, you know, the traveling faithful, which we always have great fans that travel everywhere. Um, you know, very proud of those guys. Getting texts here from. Um, You're getting blown up over Bridget, there. Bridget Aaron wanted to know if I could spell the word I used after Jordan's catch. If I, Bridget, if I could remember the word I used, I would try to spell it, but that's why I majored in history and not English. And that's why God created Webster and he created Dictionary. So a round of applause for the, the two landmark kids that are come off the field. Um, hopefully it's just cramps. Well, Calvary's. Offense back on the field, going to go with four receivers. Your wide outs are Kalee uh, Hughes and Jordan Walker. You have Mylon Richard and Ryan Jennings in the slot. Out of the shotgun is Jay Clements. He keeps it himself, and he ran a naked, um, almost a naked bootleg to yeah. the far side. And right, another cramp for uh, a defensive player now for Landmark. This Number is 55 has gone down for them. That play gained one yard. It ring up second down and nine. But hope he's not not hurt. I think it's a cramp. cramp the way yeah. this is becoming Oregon esque. Give an update from Savannah. Uh, it is H.V. Jenkins 21, Savannah Christian 14. As we continue to get reports from there, if anyone else has any scores around the Coastal Empire 
or someone can go over to MC Anderson and tell me what our field looks like after uh, <laughs> Bethesda and Mountain DeSales have played tonight in the Swamp. I think that's why I'm going now, rename MC Anderson. The swamp? That's, that's essentially <laughs> what it has become. <coughs> so the Cavs get a break in action here. We'll uh, go back over our, our sponsors once again and make this broadcast possible. Marines Turf Products, Lane and Lee Trucking, Curry Cleaners, Granger Honda, First Chatham Bank, Checkers, Nike, Specialty Sports, PGA Outsourcing, Snelling Services, State Farm, Mr. Bill Richard, Weatherington Chiropractic, Memorial Sports One, providing our athletic training staff, Savannah Tire, and John Davis Flores, and Jersey Mike Subs help provide our meal this morning as our brunch as we got on That's right, way out of Savannah. Thank you guys. Lee Snodgrass is the, the man we work with there and we appreciate everything they do. They they are my go-to guys. Call them up at any time, short notice, and uh, they do a great job in quality products. If you're out there uh, promote their group, you want to go by Jersey Mike's. They are a quality organization, quality people, and um, so it's great stuff. Also, I should thank uh, the Jones, the Golden Corral on Jonesboro Road. <laughs> yeah, we ate <laughs> a McDonough. lot. We ate a lot. We brought 96 people in there, and um, and they everyone did a great headed, job. Everyone headed straight for the chocolate wonderful. Oh my goodness gracious! They had a plethora of food. I mean, every nation was covered, <laughs> and I missed the fajita bracket. You know, I went back there. I was leaving, and I said, "Man, they got fajitas. I could have hit that up." The landmark player is still cramping. At least I think it's a cramp. Yeah. Um, hopefully that's what it looks like. They're not just messing with his knee. Maybe it is just a, a cramp. Miss Wells wants to thank you guys for, or thank the Calvary staff here for broadcasting the game, making it possible to watch it, watch it home, bring home a victory. Well, we're going to do our best, these young men, to fall back with character and fortitude to – Put them themselves in position to, to do just that, Miss Wells. And uh, thank you and Reba and Miss Brown for all y'all do. Um, I know y'all do a ton of work this week for for the Calvary faithful, getting all of us coverage for classes, subs, in-house coverage. Thanks for all the teachers for doing that, covering for our athletic department. You know, it's such a great place to be at Calvary. Such a team effort. It takes everybody to to do that. Uh, Kenny Grant, our new senior pastor, very supportive of Calvary athletics. Uh, hopefully he'll get involved in the Calvary Sports Network. Maybe we can get him up in the box during a home game to interview him for halftime. Big round of applause, number 55 here for Landmark. As Yancey's he's, coming off the field. Yeah, he's been a big impact player tonight for Landmark. Uh, we hope it's just a cramp. For them. Yeah. yeah, hopefully it is just a cramp, Brian. Second down and nine from the Landmark 17. Jay Clements got a keeper. He Faked everybody out. He dives towards the five, and he's got a first down. They're going to mark him down at the five-and-a-half-yard line, so he got nine yards. That is enough for a Calvary first. He'll be first and goal. Here's our new quote. Skill and confidence are an unconquered army. George Herbert, keep them coming. As Brian relayed to, it's going to be first and goal. Clock moving at 5.50 to go in the football game. First and goal. Football is at the five. Four receivers. Clements keeps it, cuts it back up the middle. Not much running room there. He's lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. They will keep him there. Clock is on the move. Calvary probably will not snap it until around the five-minute mark. And this is one of those times you continue to play faster even though you want to eat clock. Yeah. It's just a but tough. You're kind of also in an awkward position. You don't want to play it too conservative and have to settle for a field goal because Landmark has that quick strike capabilities. You're correct. Clements back. Throws a quick oh. out. Was looking back towards the um, near flag, looking for Jordan Walker. Throw it maybe just a little off. It'll bring up third down and goal from the five. Clock will stop right at five minutes and seven seconds to go. So third down and goal. I think Calvary can run it here. And then they can maybe run the clock down and call a timeout. They do have all three timeouts remaining here in the second half. Out of the shotgun, Clements keeps it himself. Has a lot of running room. Dives towards Slips the end zone. The one and will be. They're going to mark him mark right him at the one-yard line. He's God, right. looks like the one-foot line. 
Man, he's right at the one. And look, he just slipped as he cut. Yep. Um, man, so, he's right there. So Calvary can't let the clock run all the way down and call a timeout. Fourth down and goal. Ball man. is just inside the one. We're four minutes to go. Four minutes, 43 seconds. Clements under center. Takes it himself. Cuts inside. Touchdown, Touchdown. Calvary. With 4.32 to go, Calvary's taking the lead, 27-21. It's been the Jake Clemens show here in the second half with some great throws and some timely running of the football. And some tremendous defense. Four and a half to go, 27-21. Calvary scored, I believe, 28 27 unanswered? Yes, Only it down is. Only down 21-0. Huge extra point here, though. Luke Stroud Once again, got him to jump. jump, and they throw the flag. Ooh, did he miss that one? No, I think he got it in, but they – I don't know, man. It looked like he might have yanked it. I don't like the fact that they threw the flag or they stopped the play before uh, the ball went through the end zone. There must have been contact on the line of scrimmage. Yeah, the, they do the old Dallas Cowboys – Crouch, yeah. Yeah, crouch. So the, the, everybody's talking about it. I think Calvary would say, why don't you just let us kick it and – Yeah, take the extra point for sure. Offsides. And they'll – Move it a – Half it in a little bit. Goal. So, but you got to readjust your yardage, your spot. So here we go, the extra point attempt again. Snap good, kick good. And Plenty of leg is, there, and yep. the kick is good. 4.33 to go in the game. Calvary leads it now, 28-21. They scored four touchdowns unanswered after being down 21-0 halfway through the third quarter after fumbling the ball in the end zone. Landmark brought it all the way down. Actually, I take that back, but they've, they've, Calvary's scored all the points in the second half, yes. haven't they? So it was yeah, after it was the buff punt late in the half. Excuse yeah, it was, me. It was 14-0. Calvary was getting the ball back getting late in the, the ball half. Back. Yep. Late fumble. They got it on the two-yard line, scored on the pass that he fumbled into the end zone that we didn't well, recover to put them 21. Let's just say this. We talked about how, what can Mark Stroud say to get this team back in, and he's obviously, he obviously a genius. He did it. <laughs> well, he'll be a genius in four minutes That's and right. 32 <laughs> seconds. You know, we don't want – Savannah Christian mixes an extra point. 21-20. And Jenkins is up 21-20. to 20. So as Calvary rebounds here to see if Luke can put one more. In the end zone. In the end zone. Here we Need go. It. Strong leg. It's going to be another one in there. It looks like it. Good ain't he, it do, he doinked it right off the top of his now, helmet. Now, what would have happened if he would have knocked it out? and Knocked that down. Is that live ball? Uh, Even if he well, goes if, into if the it would have went out of the end. If, if he would have been in play and it would have went in out of bounds at the two, that's where that's they would have got the ball. From. So Three minutes left in the Jenkins-Savannah Christian game updates coming in. Like I said, if there's anything else in the Coastal Empire guys, uh, Coach Martin, Coach Shell, if you got any scores for me. Haven't heard from Coach Shell. I heard from him early in the Yeah, very game. early on. And so, um, busy man with two kids running around, though. <laughs> Don't get to watch a lot of TV and computer. I can verify that for you. First and ten, the, the Stockton McGuire, the young freshman and a quarterback. Five receivers. Nobody in the backfield. McGuire under pressure. Micah Colbert Fumble! has him in the grasp. Oh, they're, they're going to say the quarterback's going to – no, I think they're going to call him down. It looks gonna like be, he slid. I think they're going to call him down back at the 14-yard line. Micah Colbert will get the sack. That's a loss of six. That That's was a huge odd, play. Odd play there. The Second down and 16. Out. Excuse me, Chad. Micah was coming in, and look, his feet came out from underneath him. He, like, slid into the, the quarterback and wrapped his legs up and – so it's second down, 16, four minutes to go in the game. Landmark is just absolutely scuffling. They've, now they've had no thing. answer. Five's back in. Speed, speed guy for Landmark. But, I mean, they're rolling out. Here's their bubble stuff again. Drop is that an incomplete or a fun, incomplete? They're going to call it incomplete pass. at the 10. So it'll bring up second, a third down and 16. But, I mean, Landmark, they've been hit by the injury bug, certainly. Yeah, they've but had a ton of their skill guys. 22, 22. He had 97 yards in the first half. Yeah, he has was, not had a single carry in the second half. He was wrecking half. us. Got, got him on the edge, and it was it was trouble. And, but you start to see them go back to some of the bubble screen stuff off the edge that they were very successful with getting into space in the first half. Third down, 17 or 16. 
Same thing here. You got trips left. Two to the right. Calvary's got the field spread out with Landmark. McGuire back under pressure. Throws over the middle. Has a man open. Oh. In and out of the hands of Stefan Williamson. He was in a good place, though. Nobody was getting behind him. And so here you are, Brian. It's, it's three, four, four years to go. You're going deep in your own territory. I think Landmark's got to punt it. They yeah, have no punt choice. team's coming on. And if I'm Calvary, I'm just staying away from it. Yep. Get away unless it's going to roll 60 yards. But well, Landmark has two timeouts. So Calvary is going to have to try to get at least one or maybe two, two first, first downs. downs. But here's the thing we talked about. Can Calvary now play a grind-out clock right. with this offense? That, that's kind of the, the things we've talked about. When you get a lead, can you now grind out a you know, grind out a drive? So Nolan Bryan is into the game to no punt. No one back to receive for the yep. Cavs. So Calvary's got everybody up. Like you said, they're just going to let the ball roll. Hopefully, you know, they're watching for a fake. Bad Low snap. snap. Calvary no does not have though. anybody on. Good, good kick. Good punt. Very good punt. It's going to bounce at midfield and will roll down about the 43. That's Still not bad. Yep. So that's pretty good for Calvary. Three minutes, 30 seconds to go. And Calvary, like I said, two timeouts probably wins the game. I mean, two, two first downs probably wins the game for Calvary. But here's where you got to take care of the ball, Brian. It's one of those things that you can't overdo it and reach the ball out there, not secure it. This is one of those times that you got to be really aggressive in protecting the football. This is where you want to be. This is what you worked all summer for. This is why you lifted weights every day. This is why you ran sprints. This is why you suffered in the heat. Probably the heat because we didn't have AC in the gym all That's summer. That's right. That's why we've done so well. We dealt with the heat and humidity in the Calvary locker areas and weight room all summer. Uh, maybe that's prepared us for tonight. First down for Calvary. Shotgun, they got two backs next to Clements. Looks like there's some movement yeah, there. Yeah, that's going to make it that much tougher. Yeah. So that's the kind of that, that's not, a, not running. That's yeah. not good. That's not an error you can have. It'll be first and 15, but that makes it that much tougher to get the first down. And like we said, Calvary gets one or two first downs, maybe ice it. I'm going to throw some uh, – got another text coming in from uh, Mary Ann Forrester, my favorite real estate agent. <laughs> And uh, the mother of two Cavalier girls, Patricia, our state champion, and her Lindsay. daughter, Lindsay. Who's here right now. Yep, here cheering Cavaliers on. Robert Hayward, good tough run here, but he's going to be. backwards. Yeah, well, he it's got, not, not he got we back need. to the line of scrimmage. Stayed in bounds, most importantly. Clock is going to be running. It's, Calvary will snap at about 3.15 to go. Yeah, that's what we talked about, though. You know, do you go away from what you've been doing well um, and try to slow it down and run some clock. And, you know, Landmark's not calling timeouts. This will be third. Second and 15. Second and 15 calls the motion on yep. the first third one. Third down. Or, excuse me, three minutes to go. Clock is still moving. Calvary can take their time to snap it. Jay Clements will keep it. Pulling guard of Brad Butler again. That's going to be six yards on the play. It'll bring up third down and nine. And timeout quickly called. Cole Higby back in the game. That's very important for Landmark, he makes the tackle. Yep. Another text coming in. They can because they think they can. Virgil. I like it. Keep these coming. Uh, once again, thanks, Ms. Forrester, for what she does. Bill Forrester, our swim coach at Calvary. Um, people don't know this, but Calvary swim team finished eighth in the state. And that's all classifications, right? Between single A and 4A. 5A is our own docket, but single A to 4A finished eighth in the state. Eight swimmers on the team did a great job in the relays. Two state champions in Patricia Forster and Katie Holsey in the 500. I tell you, if you want to go watch an endurance race, you go. You can go to GHS TV, go back to State Swim, and watch Katie Holsey and Patricia Forster win state championships for the Cavs, bringing that home. So, thanks to those guys. That's one thing we've not talked a lot about was the success we had as an athletic department last year, some individual accolades. But um, congratulations to those girls and how they represent Calvary. And to our swim team, hey, you know, it's a big part of Calvary Day School, and thanks to Bill Forrester for taking that charge. Under three minutes to go, 28-21. Clements throwing down the field. Ryan Jennings in and out of his hands. So that's an interesting decision. 
Yeah, Andrew's decision there to stop the clock. Fourth down with 2.38 to go. So to bring up fourth down, Calvary will save, now have to punt. Yeah, save Landmark a timeout because if yes. you just run it. Even if you get no yards, I mean, you're. I mean, you're looking at, what, another 30 seconds? We're probably at two minutes. And Either even, that or Landmark uses the timeout. A, yeah, right. even if they don't use it, you run all the way down, call the timeout. Yes. And then punt it. We'll see what happens. Calvary to punt. Another Coming good in, one. End. Fair catch called for and made at the 19-yard line. And there is uh, there is a definite cramp now for Calvary as uh, Chandler, Chandler Bennett, Bennett, he is cramping. Been playing good defense, so he yeah. needs to hurry up and get back into it. That punt will go 35 yards. Good one when he needed it. Yeah. So as it is, the ball will be at the 18 or 19 yard line. Two and a half minutes to go for Landmark Christian if yeah, they are going to tie the game. It is still the young freshman, Stockton McGuire, in a quarterback. It is not Higby. Five receivers, th trips to the right or left, as Chad told you earlier. Still the setup they're going with. Did not work very well last time. Quick throw. Double screen. This is uh, Walters, makes the catch, spins out of one tackle. Holds on to the football. He will get a first down across the 30. That will be 10 yards on the play. And that's the thing. You know, you can't you, – you don't want to go into a prevent defense. Now, right. Mark's in hurry-up mode. And they're, they're actually now going to go trips to the right. They're just coming switching off the, field. the formation. Quarterback is barking the signals. Walter stayed inbounds. The clock is running. 2.20 to go. Back to passes. Stockton. Should be a hold. McGuire. There is a catch. That is a uh, fumble on the play. That is uh, number down. five, Josh Nobles. Nobles makes the catch, and he gets up to the 33-yard line, a three-yard gain. Clock is on the move, two yards. I think you're going to uh, see a lot of two these bubble screens and then probably a play-action pass deep. You know, you're going to try to get us to bite in and then try to be us over the top here as Stephon and Luke White are back deep for the Cavs. Second down seven. Same thing. Quick bubble throw. Screen. Walters. Keen is there. Makes a great tackle. Yep, a gain of two. It'll bring up uh, third down and five. The clock is down to a minute 40. So third down up. five. Yep, they are the hurry up. They're going to switch the formation yep. again. Trips right. Yep. Minute and a half to go. Snap. McGuire looking, looking. Look now under line. pressure. Going to throw it away. Incomplete. It'll bring up fourth down. The game comes down to this with exactly a minute 21 to go. Calvary stops him here. It looks they like have he come away going, with their first victory of the season. Fourth looks like down he was and five. Going to take off and run. Yeah, it did. He had, he had some space on the edge. It was a good uh, job there by Chandler Bennett to stick yep. with the quarterback. He did not let the quarterback bounce outside. And uh, and Luke Stroud was there as well. Fourth down. This is the play of the game right here. Calvary stops him. They're going to win the game. They've scored. 28 unanswered points. Five receivers, three to the left, two to the right. McGuire back, has plenty of time, looking, looking. Throws over the middle. the middle. Incomplete. Throw it over the over his intended receiver's head. Josh Nobles and Calvary going to be able to take a couple knees. Well, they didn't call oh. any timeouts, though, did they? They have one left. They have one. But Calvary's going to have the football in landmark territory. I think Calvary's going to win the game, Chad. I'm not saying What that. a comeback. Yeah, I'm not saying anything. That's why I make the big bucks. I can That's make calls like that. I can sit here and I'm keeping my mouth shut for next minute 15 um, till we at clock hit double zero and see what happens here. Just take knees, Brian. Does that mean time-wise that's all we got left? Yeah. Take a knee. Make them call the timeout. Second knee will get it down to about 50 seconds. The third knee will get it down to about... 20 seconds, and that should, I mean, we might have to give them the ball back for one more play. Just Clements down, runs Jake. out of bounds. Ball down, don't fumble. That's good. That's good. He stayed in bounds. Landmark not calling the timeout yet. The ball the ball will be set. Jake lost a yard. So we wait for the referee to blow the play in. There it is with 52 seconds. It will bring up second down and 11. And actually, Landmark's got a guy tying his shoe. So, with 48 seconds left. I don't think, I think uh, Calvary 
may have it now, Chad. I just – I wouldn't get in the gun. 46 just, seconds, uh, take 25 off that, takes it down to, what, 20 seconds? Yeah, I mean, or, get in her center and take a knee. But that's different. I mean, if you if all you're do, used to is being in the gun, it's difficult to get in any center. Calvary is going to go from the shotgun still. Snap. Ooh, high snap. High Jake snap. does take the Ooh. knee. There is the timeout with 24 seconds. So Landmark's only hope is it is now third down. And snap. seven is, yeah, for a bad snap. Fumble. It's third down and 18. But what a second half for Man. Calvary, Chad. Calvary was going into what looked like their first score, fumbled the ball into the end zone, forced Landmark to punt, then had a good drive getting the ball down the field. Jake Clements got in from, or actually, excuse me, uh, Derek Kirkland got in for the first score. Four-yard touchdown run. Then Clements in from five yards. And then a 15-yard touchdown pass to Ryan Jennings. And then just a few moments ago on a fourth down and goal, Jake Clements from one yard out to give Calvary the lead for the first time tonight. They're putting Robert Hayward about 10 yards back in case this snap goes yep. over Jake's head. He's there to fall on it. Snap is good, and that's it. Clock wow. is under 22 seconds, and Calvary is going to win the football game. Man, the, the emotion has been sucked out of this stadium where we were at halftime. It was, yeah, it it was, was rocking. Music was blaring. People were jumping around. You know, we were up here upset. And the Calvary fans, you can see across the way, they're going crazy. Calvary will win it here on the road at Landmark Christian. Final score, Calvary 28. And the Landmark Christian War Eagles 21. What a game of football. What a job by Calvary down 21-0 at the half. A fumble late in the game, uh, late in the second quarter. Gave Landmark a cheap touchdown. And it looked like the wheels were about to fall off, but no. Calvary comes out, makes a couple of mistakes in the second half to begin it. But then they begin that long, slow crawl back into the game. Leadership of Jake Clements under center. And then a great job of defensive adjustments. Yeah, I mean, hats off this coaching staff. You see them down on the Sim down on the field, they are jacked up. I mean, we were buried alive in the first <laughs> half. 200 yards to 40. You know, it looked like we just couldn't get anything going, nothing right. And, uh, but, hey, this is just one win. This is just one stepping stone in the season. Bryan County is not going to be, you know, an easy game next week at Anderson Anderson Swamp, depending on how it looks when we get back to the day school tonight. And so, uh, Miss Britt, if you're watching, uh, you're texting, Hey, thanks for your support. You and Coach Britt uh, watching the game late in the evening here, catching on the Calvary Sports Network. And uh, thank you guys for everything. Thank you for your dedication to Calvary. We appreciate that. Um, so as the two teams, two Christian schools here, meet in the middle of the field, uh, man, what a hard-fought contest. The game, what a swing of emotions for both programs um, that, we, that we've seen. Corey Martin's texting in, amazing game. Y'all have a safe trip back. We will do the same. We'll be praying for our, um, our bus driver from Holland. That's right. Irvin. Irvin the Dutchman. Irvin the Flying Dutchman. <laughs> uh, hopefully he can get that charter bus to grow some wings and get us back to the day school safely. And that's the main thing, getting preparation for next week, our home opener at MC Anderson. But like you said, Brian, what a, what a swing of a game from first half to second half. Jay Clements, two rushing touchdowns and uh, a, a touchdown toss in the second half, and Derek Kirkland, the uh, fourth touchdown. Um, so a great job. Uh, wish I had more time to try to add up all the stats, but, I mean, <laughs> what a turnaround it was between halves. Calvary was totally dominated in the first half, but um, I'm, I'm positive that we uh, led the score sheet in the second half. So, I mean, probably – Yardage is going to be probably 50-50. Thank you. Uh, about, about the same between the two teams. That's big. And Calvary's yeah. record will go to 1-0 in the season. 0-1-1 for Landmark. So that's huge to get that first victory on oh, the man. road. And that's the thing. Well, one, for the, for the state playoffs 
and four. Yeah, I mean, that's it. There, this is going to look good on that. Well, the biggest thing is, you know, this FBS system we have, you know, BCS system we have now in single A, it is a huge, huge divide, and every game is important. And that's the thing about getting a win over a quality team like Landmark is you're going to get their points at the end of the season. Yep. And We want Landmark to do very yeah, well they, the rest of the I way. Mean, they're a great football team. And they're, they're going to do well, and that's going to help Calvary at the end of the season. Um, and as we go along, and maybe Brian and I can take some mon uh, take some time on Monday. and Try to figure it out. And um, Hey, but t talk about this too, Chad. A game against Bryan County, a double-A school. Double-A school, you're right. Winning that game, that's going to add major points as well, beating yeah, a team. It gives, gives you two more points. Yeah. So it gets you up to 12 for there. And um, Bryan County is in a new, new region as I mean, well yep. um, with our close friend and – um, you know, Coach Britt, you know, in there with them and Metter and all those guys. So, you know, we'll be pulling for Coach Britt, uh, BC, as, as they go about their, their season um, as, as well. Uh, getting some news here that Christian uh, lost to HV Jenkins. Don't have a score, but just got a text saying they, they lost. But I tell you, man, I, you know, Christian's a great program. Um, and – the expectations of winning a state championship and come back is is immense, and so those guys are not going to stay down for long. Christian's one loss is, um, you know, they they'll rebound. Don Chumley's a good coach, good program, and they'll they'll continue success and, and do well. It's just a, you know, they're starting all over too. We know that feeling from several years ago, but there's quality coaching staff over there, and they'll they'll get it back. But uh, once again, let's run down our, our sponsors one more time, Brian, then I'll let you close us out as I get us ready for our post-game stuff. Uh, we want to thank uh, Vereen's Turf Products, John Davis Flores, Lane Lee Trucking, Curry Cleaners, Granger Honda, the people's choice, First Chatham Bank, Checkers, Nike, Specialty Sports, State Farm, Bill Richard, Wellington Chiropractic, Memorial and Savannah Tire, um, Air Services and Refrigeration Specialties Incorporated. And since I got Miss Britt on the line, we're going to throw a big shout out to Cheer Savannah. Thank you for your ads and our upcoming program will be out in a couple weeks. But thanks for all her help getting our um, competition cheer squad off the, um, off the sideline and into competition. We'll be talking about that. Cheryl Bland's our coach, but big help from Cheer Savannah, Stephanie Britt, in the uh, coordinating that uh, for us. So thanks to everybody. Um, and I'll be signing off here, let Brian finish up. I want to say hello to my dad, Jim Griffin, out there. He, he called me five times trying to get on air to listen to us tonight from Gastonia, North Carolina, if you're still listening. Thank you for everything. We love you, appreciate you. And um, I'll turn it over to Brian. Thank you, guys. Again, the final score for the Calvary Cavaliers in their opening game of the 2012 season is Calvary 28 and Landmark Christian 21. It was 21-0 Landmark at half. Calvary scored four unanswered touchdowns in the second 24 minutes to come away with the victory. Great job all the way around by this team, great senior leadership, and a great job by the coaching staff. We thank our Calvary Sports Network staff on completing our first football game of the year. We thank cameraman Bill Richard for all of his work upstairs on the production and our director tonight, Casey Nelson. And we thank, as always, Chad Griffin on his road game um, analysis and commentary here with me brian evans it's been a great pleasure to bring this game to you and we're glad to come back to savannah with a victory until next week we remind you um, that uh, we do have more calvary sports coming your way um, in the near future remember that monday we will have the next installment of Cavs corner as chad and i will run down this week in sports and look at what's coming up next week be sure to be checking out the website as well to see what uh, live sports will be coming your way. Definitely the football game Friday night. We may be having another event as well next week. For all of my cohorts here from the booth, Bill Richard, Casey Nelson, and Chad Griffin, I'm Brian Evans from Fairburn, Georgia. This is the Calvary Sports Network. Good night, everyone.